Hello. Like, oh man. Hello. 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 Uh, Hello, everybody. Nice, classy. <laughs> we are nothing if not classy. <laughs> Welcome to Dungeon Select. Hey everybody, welcome to Dungeon Select, the show like where every dungeon. Sunday we get together, roll dice, role play, and I make my oh, players I suffer. Like that. Hmm? Oh, I like that. Roll dice, role, role play. play. There you go. Damn. Is that a new tagline? Do we roll have an dice, intro now? Play? I guarantee it's been done, but fuck it, I haven't oh. seen it, so fuck it, it's not copying. It, fuck it, Speaking of intros, what are the odds? Because some a certain member of the party teased that for all of campaign one that there was a chance of getting a dedicated intro and obviously that never happened what are the answer campaign two place your bets hey. <laughs> who teased um, them okay. first things first uh soko is not here today uh he's working unfortunately but uh, like a little bitch it is what it is um who's going to be taking charge of jack's combat wise nope. might see um, comment and soon. i'm happy to do it i've done it before yeah, yeah he, he, Ethan's his um I'll leave you, his pet. I'll leave you to, right. to do that. No, um, before we kick off today's show, a uh, couple of announcements. Um, we're going to be doing something different today, something new. Um, I made some maps using software called Tailspire. Hashtag which not is, sponsored. Uh, hashtag not sponsored, <laughs> which is a, a Kickstarter I backed uh, a, a while ago, uh, which allows you to create a virtual... Um, tabletop space, I guess, make battle maps and all that stuff. Uh, so we're gonna give that a crack, see if we like it, and see if this is something we want to use for the rest of the campaign moving forward. Uh, and I want you guys in chat to also kind of give your opinions on, like, do you like, you know, the, the, the that. Um, it's gonna make things a lot easier as far as, far as like, you know, what is in the room, uh, where is everybody located, stuff like that. So it's gonna make combat a lot easier. Um, also updated the music playlist a little bit, so there's gonna be a lot new, a lot of new bangers, a lot of like divinity so songs and all that stuff uh, added. So that's gonna be fun. Um, those are my announcements out of the way. Did Anything you else? update the world anvil? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I have, I have the next okay. coming week off, so I I'll did. be working on it a lot um, this coming week. <laughs> I updated my world anvil for nice. just my character. Um, I got halfway well, through adrenaline tree. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, and then um, it, it didn't save it, so that was great. There you go. <laughs> and it just deleted everything. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. No, sad. Uh, small update on like the DS Twitch channel. I replaced all the thumbnails for all the other vods with the thumbnails that I used on the YouTube, so it'll be easier ah, to oh, really? distinguish sure. which ones are Helpful. which episodes, wow. so you don't have to like look for the title. So what a gamer! Nice. Awesome. I'll continue doing that Appreciate as I'm uploading that. things on YouTube. God damn. All right, Belle. I see you. I, I have you. a question that, depending on the answer, kind of is also an announcement. So is anyone other than me dressing up for next week's Halloween one shot? I will if I can get my costume. I got no fucking money, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm with Duke I... in this boat. Same. Well, just you just do a closet cosplay. Just find I mean, shit yeah, around I your might house. I do. Like I have like dress up as the popular t streamer Celitate Beanie. <laughs> so that's about <laughs> as much as you're getting. I have like eight t-shirts, and they are like four. Just dress up as each other, dude. Two sets of four, basically. Yeah, I just think... dress up as each other because you both do the beard other. thing, and just I'll yeah, wear a beanie. I'll beanie find a baseball cap and wear a baseball cap. Wear a beanie. Wear a beanie. I don't know if I have um, a, a hat other than a beanie. Ethan will wear contacts. I guess, I guess on, the, on that topic, um, just, uh, just a reminder, next week uh, there will be a DD and uh, show on Sunday, but it won't be the Dungeon Slack campaign. We're going to be doing a Halloween one-shot with uh, the same cast and crew that we have uh, today, including Soko. Uh, just something separate, Great. something a little more spooky and giving the players a chance to, you know, role to play some new characters and stuff and... Um, just for just for one time. Uh, so next week, no normal dungeon select. There will be a Halloween themed Woo! one shot instead. Um, one more thing I kind of want to uh, announce is that I am working on creating a uh, dungeon select Discord server so that there is a space for all of the community that are into D and D to talk. And because right now we use the level select Discord, and there's only one like real like dungeon select related channel there. I want to create a space where everyone in the community can join together and, and set up games among each other and, and talk all things and all facets D&D &D and, and our campaign, but also 
I don't know, Critical Role watch parties, because I know where a lot of us watch that and, yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, so. until then, you can use the subreddit for similar yeah, purposes. Obviously. Yeah. So if you have, it's like, oh, I oh, have wait, fan wait, theories, Duke. or I have art, or I Discord have this, is I doing I the post. thing again oh, where wait. Spotify Edit. fucking pauses my thing. How do I turn that off again? Uh, you Ooh. have to disconnect your Spotify or just not talk for 30 seconds consecutively. That's it. That's fucking annoying. Okay, I'm just going dis to yep. disconnect my hmm. Spotify real quick. While you do that, I got two more announcements. Yep. Uh, first one is, uh, again, on, next after next week, starting for November. We've said it before, but we'll say it every time because we're hyped and it's exciting. Uh, Charity Select, the autumn season is coming. So all of November, various members of the Level Select community will be raising money for a special effect. Amazing charity. We're going to have lots of really cool incentives like last time. We're in the works of maybe organizing a kickoff um, day for like where multiple of us are doing that. And yeah, it's going to be a good time. So that's happening. And then personal announcement, um, something I've been thinking about doing for a while. And then the whole like day off Twitch and support off Twitch movement and stuff heavily influenced the decision. Just in case anyone's like, hey, uh, formerly supported you through Twitch, but would like to do so another way. I've made a fan house account and I'm posting stuff there that I'm also in terms of keeping it exclusive. Uh, I'm posting stuff there that will only go there. Right now, that includes daily tarot card readings, as well as um, uh, photos and f uh, summaries of my gym workouts for those that are <laughs> on like a health fitness kick, or maybe you're looking for inspiration, ways to spice up your own exercise routine. And then there will be teases of stuff there. Like if I have to make a new D&D &D character, I would put it there first before teasing it anywhere else and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, anyone else have any announcements or can we get started? I think we're good to go. All right. Last we left off, the party made their way back to Eldilon after saving a young lad from a burning house, splitting up the party and fighting some, some pyromaniacs, I guess is a good way of putting it. Um, the same, belonging to the same group that have been setting fire to random farmhouses and sometimes complete small villages uh, for weeks, if not longer now. Um, but after saving the young lad, reuniting him with his parents, you continue to travel to Eldilon, arrived, met with Tranliel and the her, her council of five. That help her govern the city and the the the, the, the province that is Keldar. Um, introductions were made to the entire council properly, and you got rewarded your first magic items. Uh, everyone got a little uh, got a little thing, um, and with that, you went to the town. The majority of you went to the muddy boat, had a proper party. That ended up, uh, that ended up in a tavern brawl. Mm -hmm. uh, that got instigated by Brooks a little bit, but you know, hey ho, we don't we don't blame him for anything. Um, other than that, Elazarin had a cute little cute little one on one night with with Sirin, having some having some food at the elegant carafe, um, which is where you all spend the night, and this is where you all. Awaken. Those that went on an absolute bender the night before I would like for you all to make constitution saving throws. I win these. Oh, uh, I do not, but we'll see. Regarding my axe, it's just Thunderwave once a day, right? Yes. Cool, because we had problems with that on my sheet. Yeah, I don't know why I just cannot, like, everyone else's magic item gets added normally, and then yours is just being a fucking dickhole, I don't know why. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure, because I was... Yeah, Thunderwave once a day, and I believe I said the DC was going to be 12? Because you don't have a spell save DC for your free self. I, uh, I technically do, because monk shit. Because oh, yeah. key save, we have a key DC for Oh, then key just use whatever the fuck that is. Okay. I rolled pretty fucking good. I guess um, Rolf. Um, did Jax get that drunk? I don't even know. I 
think Jax did. Jax kind of spent the majority Jax. of the evening talking to those people on the ship, and I don't think yeah. Jax really got, yeah. that, got that turn. Um, I'm gonna you <laughs> roll a, a 13 or lower. Me. Okay, you, two, the you two um, feel the hangover. Your, your, you know, dry mouth, headache, just a craving for a for a greasy breakfast. You know, all the all the all the hangover. Oh. You know, the symptoms are there. The rest Flex. of you, you're all right. You're, 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 you know, the dry mouth kind of experience, but not really like a headache or anything. Just, you know, you're, you're fine. Well, so with that, uh, I believe. You rented rooms, um, Somewhere fancy. double rooms, and I think Brooks spent correct. the night in a room alone. Yep. yep. So you all awaken, some of you more hungover than others. But it's a new day. Smell the morning. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that, and then someone says it. <laughs> or Koiba. <laughs> Koiba will never forget. No. Uh, we'll start Never with forget. Brooks. You wake up in a room alone. What is it you do before you, uh, you know, make your way downstairs? Um, we will spend roughly ten minutes or so just getting cleaned up, making sure I look nice, and then I will just head downstairs. Okay. Um, Daigon and Kess were bunking together, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. What did you guys do when you wake up? Uh, Kaz hangs out on a bed and waits for Daigon to wake up. If, well, so I, I figured I would get up first because I'm not hungover. Um, if I went downstairs, is there anything like a menu or anything like a breakfast menu or anything set like written? Or yes. is it just yes, like there there's is. just there's an like a, There's like this like pretty fancy looking sign um, okay. as you enter the like the like restaurant area of the mm -hmm. of the hotel. It has like okay. today's breakfast special all like listed. What's um, on there? Is there anything? What's the greasiest, least healthy sounding thing on there? Um, poached eggs with fresh ham, and uh, a good, are they green though? A good, healthy serving of hollandaise sauce. Okay, I would because if there's something written, I would go down there because I can't talk and just like get the attention of someone working there and just point to that on the menu and then point and then the number two good morning and he kind of like this this the man looking at you it's like it's high elven um long blonde hair kind of like tied in like a neat uh, ponytail yep. um wearing very mm -hmm. fancy red uh clothing just looks looks at you i hope your night has been um everything you expected and more, and then notices that you don't talk back and you just kind of point. Right, two of those. Uh, just take a seat wherever you'd like and uh, I'll make sure that that food gets um, I I point upstairs and then I would also hold up fingers to match. Do our rooms have numbers? Or no? Yeah, I yeah. was 33. You in, okay. You, you stayed in 31. Okay, so then I would point upstairs and hold up a 3 and a 1. Room 31. Asking to take it upstairs. Of course, of course. It won't be a problem. Um, go back shall be about 15 kids. minutes, is that alright? Nod, yes. Make sure to bring it up to your room shortly then. Okay. So you order mm -hmm. room service and go back upstairs. Yep. Very cool. Um... Davian was bunking with Jax. Um, Davian, what do you do to start of your day? Um, I I, <clears throat> I feel like, given my nature, I would wake up a little earlier than Jax and glance over and sort of, you know, his face is a little bruised and I'm like, <laughs> just sort of slowly make my way. Hmm. I left Onu with Elazarin. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess I'm gonna go to Elazarin's room and like you know knock on the knock on the door sort of oh. gently. I mean I assume he didn't get drunk, right? So no, but there is a siren in there. 
Oh, shh. Is there, any, is there anything on the door handle to indicate do not disturb? No, there isn't. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll lightly just... on the door. Yes? Who is it? Uh, do you... Is, is, is Onu in there? I don't think I, I think I put Onu in the room. I think I just kind of left him outside. <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be a bit weird to try and get it on yeah. with Siren and Onu's just there watching. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> he, he was, he was, he was, he was outside. Oh, son. Elazrin. <laughs> yes, hello. I left him with you so you could look after him. And I'm just going to I did look after him. This drag my feet down the <laughs> corridor away from the door. <laughs> And go, I guess, step outside, smell of the morning, and find my damn bird. Uh, make a perception check. For fuck's sake. He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's I gone. Did Imagine not... Onu ran away because you were mean to him. He's like, I don't Seven. this. Seven? There is yep. a new special for breakfast, however. Um, oh. You don't initially see it's Onu. Horrible. And you, you, you call out for him a couple of times, but eventually... Oh, no! Eventually, wow. you'll see him, like, kind of approaching from the docks, um, from the dock side of town, flying towards you. This and you can see, you can see, yeah, literally, you can see, like, a, a half of a fish still hanging out of his beak as he kind of lands in front of you and just <gasps> throws the fish up and just catches it uh, in his entire, like, bill and nom nom. For fuck's sake. Sorry about that old boy. I don't know what the fuck, you know, Lazarus is trying to, I don't know. I don't know. Let's fucking go sit down. And I'll just kind of walk into the... I guess there's a restaurant, right? Like yeah. a dedicated restaurant. And I'll go go take a seat and kind of... At this point, let's say Brooks is under the there. table. Because Brooks, you said you were just going to go downstairs, right? So I'm yeah. assuming that you've taken a seat in the restaurant area. Yep. So you can join. You, can join. you and Jax will both join Brooks at the, the table that he's uh, sitting at. Ah, oh, son. I'll call out in Sylvan because well, I guess all common is English, right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> oh, son. <laughs> this uh, the same high elven individual that helped uh, Daigon prior. The blonde, long hair in the ponytail approaches you. Good morning. Smell of the morning. I need a pitcher of orange juice. <laughs> And what's on the menu? <laughs> Fucking this place is fancy, right? Do they yeah. do coffee? Actually, yes, they do. Um, do you yeah. know that coffee is uh, quite the delicacy because the beans to make coffee are very hard to get, but on this land, a lot more common than back than back home. Because jungle. Coffee. And it's pooped by uh, cats. So the, they do, serve coffee. The they, they do serve coffee here. This is one of the the only place in the city that you know of that does serve coffee. Coffee is, is definitely regarded as, as, as a drink for the more uh, wealthy among the citizens. As it should be. In which case, I would like to already be sitting there with a coffee. All right. Uh, I'll take, you know, the, that long, like, rack that you put toast in. I'll just take one of those of toast and as much bacon as you can fit on a plate. Of course, <laughs> of course. Is it called a toast rack? It's it probably called something called like a, a bon bleu mousse or something. I know what uh, you mean, and it's, it's good enough for me. I'll, um, right. What's your room number, sir, if you don't mind? So, say again? What's your room number? 33. All right, that means breakfast is included. All right, no worries. I'll uh, make sure that, to get that out to you. Shortly. Thanks. Uh, how about how about you there, uh, sir? Would you like any any breakfast? Uh, I know you've gotten your coffee, but I'll have I'll have two poached eggs, two bacon, a slice of toast, and I'll have another coffee, please. Of course, of course. Coming right up. And he uh, what? dips out. Brooks, what's in the cup, and why does it smell really awful and really good at the same time? <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> Fucking expensive, but it, it's passes me it's, pink G fuel shaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like tea, but, it, but sort of worse, but sort of better. And it'll wake you the fuck up. It's uh, 
There, there's a few drinks that use it, but <gasps> again, pricey as shit, so. Guys. Does it come with a room? No, but. Fuck. Okay, no. I mean, yes, it, uh, yes. You, it I does! Know, I, know that. That. I know! Oh, right, okay. I thought you were just. Okay, my bad. Sorry. No. Did you, you, what, you know it does, but you told me it doesn't? Yep. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Asshole. Dude. If oh, Daigon what? had coffee, it'd be like when cats get zoomies. It's like, oh, oh, oh. like twitchy, and like run it everywhere. Like, it's like, I got a sky idea, guys. I got a sky idea. I like a squirrel from Hoodwinked. At this point, uh, Siren will hop out of bed, uh, Lazarin, and, and uh, put some, um, just some, like, common clothes on. Uh, slipping out of her, her, her like, night attire. Uh, looks at you. I'm going to get some breakfast. Are you joining me? Um, I'll be down in just a second. I have some, I have some prayers I have to do. All right. Um, are we still visiting the temple today? Yes, of course. If that's where you want to go. I do. Um, well, then I believe that is where we'll go. I believe um, Father Ackle. Yes, Father Ackle. Uh, he mentioned he would um, teach me about religion, so I'd like to hear visit today. Yes, of course, absolutely. We can do that first thing, if you want, or if you want to explore the city a bit first, we can do it mm. this afternoon. Up to you. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd like to do that first. That's good. I dropped my phone. Nice. <laughs> and she'll uh, just, like, slip, like, put, her, put her, uh, her, her bag over her shoulder and slip out the room. And I will join uh, the rest uh, as she as she comes down, and sees you sitting at the breakfast table, and just kind of hops on a chair uh, around that same table. By now, Money? I'm assuming we're getting breakfast in our Yeah, you at this point, your breakfast will have been num, served num, to your room. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel good. <laughs> I just sign I, I, in, to Kess. I know you don't, but eat a little anyway, or you'll feel worse later. Okay, I will eat. I sign, if anything, just eat the bacon. It's the best part. You can leave the rest. Got some goddamn Eggs Benedict. I love Eggs Benedict so much. It's, it's, it's my favorite thing oh, for breakfast or so brunch is Eggs Benedict IRL, dude. Oh, mm. man. <laughs> Want to go downstairs when we finish? Not yes. Okay. How are you feeling this morning, then? Davian, you uh, <sighs> gave Jax quite a first shiner. Yeah, my fucking hand. My face. <laughs> I, I definitely think he gets more of the sympathy vote there than you. <laughs> oh well, I mean, you did hit his head's a lot bigger than my fist. I feel like you know. Yeah, he's still very old though. Yeah, I suppose that's true. I feel I do feel bad. I I tried to offer my apologies, but I, I mean, it was the heat of the month. Oh, you st right, Brooks? You started. You started the whole thing. I saw it happen. <laughs> but I let him throw the first punch. To be fair, I thought Jax knew what was coming, but the guy who hit with his stool definitely didn't. <laughs> I figured I'd go over, I'd insult him, and if he just told me to fuck off, he clearly wasn't in the mood, but if he threw a punch at me, then I didn't have to feel bad about it. At the very least, I expected Jax to hit back, but he just kind of got upset and left, and that made it so much worse. I mean... Maybe maybe that was his way of hitting back, just to make you feel like shit. That's that's fucked up. He's a big he, you're a, Jack. You're a big lad, all right. I was thinking <laughs> I'll fucking you know I'll, I'll give him one and he'll like throw me out a window or something. Not I'll hit him and he'll go oh, oh I'm too old and leave. Like, you you could probably throw me through a window if you really wanted. I, I like that. Probably could, but um, not the youngest anymore, and I. Uh... <laughs> Got caught off guard. I don't know how you got caught off guard. I thought, you know, I thought I made it clear. This, oh, this is happening. Well, no, it doesn't matter. I feel like. Well, I, mean, well, I expect oh, you to answer your question. Punch people that weren't part of the group, to be honest. <laughs> right, but a brawl is like it's a, it's a bit of fun. It's not like there's any animosity or anything. It was just like, oh, you know, maybe take you back to your younger days of. I have him bar fights, I don't know. I, um... Maybe next time. 
Anyway, my head hurts, my mouth's dry, my pride is a bit hurt, and my hand hurts. All in all, it's a pretty good day. <laughs> Thought I lost my bird, thanks to Elazarin. I left him in Elazarin's care. He <laughs> fucked off. I don't know where he went. <laughs> Found him, and I just kind of lift the tablecloth, and he's oh, he's kind of <laughs> curled up under the table. <laughs> he, he seems happy enough, at least. But we having some stone words with that priest. Uh, what are you doing in your room right now, Elazarin? Uh, so I he's will. I yeah no I will do prayers to change my spell list so that takes ten minutes to do okay uh, and then I will also with the, the pouch I recently bought I'm gonna put um, the emeralds and lapis into that pouch as well as some gold and platinum okay excuse me. And I'm gonna put that tightly into the, into the bottom of my bag and put like stuff over the top of it and put it right at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Good backups. Okay. Yeah, and that, and then I'll, I'll eventually get dressed and come downstairs. Whenever we go downstairs, anything that Kest didn't eat, I will bring and just try and feed Onu under the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll say that everyone is at the sill, um, you know, sitting at the table having their breakfast being served, um, and then at that point. Halfway through their breakfast, you guys will have finished yours and joined them at the table in the restaurant. Good morning. Good morning. You were up fairly late. I don't feel well. Well, you did drink quite a lot. Oh, is that why? Yeah. That, I didn't know it did that. That is how alcohol works, yes. Yeah, it might have something to do with it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> did you I not I was just notice? Sick. Do you not notice after, like, the drinking competitions when we would all be pretty fucking rough. Yes, but I never realized that was because of the drinking. I just thought well, they say that when you drink, you just borrow happiness from the day after. Why were you not happy the day before? Well, you're just extra happy, but then you feel miserable the day after. I feel yeah. fine, to be fair. That makes sense. At this point, I probably come down. You have a lot of practice, though. I was going to say, I feel like you're a bit more accustomed to this than a woodsman and a um, elemental lady from God knows where. The forest, yes. They right. don't have much. We have that in common. Taverns in the forest, though. No. No, I tried to make my own wine once with uh, some s small berries that you can find around here, but they don't seem to do very well. It's not very sweet, so. I mean, I have, it. I have actually been working on that, and I think I'm pretty, pretty fucking close to it. So, we'll see. I trust you much more than I trust my own. I'm, what we we put a bunch of these berries in a jar, and then I don't know, just kind of left it for a while. And all it did yeah, was attract that, a bunch that, of really big wasps. That doesn't Mr. sound like fermentation. That Hello. sounds like mold. I have a question. Mm -hmm. My dragon armlets. Is it like multiple? bangles and they're separate or is it one intertwined like it kind of looks like it's it a is two silver up. bracelets kind of connected with like a chain link that are meant to be like do on the one two arm. bracelets the way it stay kind of fixed on my arm or do they slide around like are they jangly uh if that makes sense they probably like because they're magic items yeah i was gonna say that they would fit to my arm they will do whatever you yeah. want would... okay because then i will while they're talking i will sign to kess you know, I was worried that these would be really <laughs> noisy, given I speak with my hands, but they seem to have shrunk overnight. That's very convenient. Yeah, so yeah, it would have been really inconvenient if we were trying to be quiet and you just hear clank, clank, clank from my wrists <clears> while I move <throat> my hands around. Yes, that would be a detriment when we have to steal more crowns. <laughs> Actually, that's when I come to... <laughs> sure. speaking or signing. Good morning. Uh, Kaz is saying this out loud. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. You Smell guys, of the morning you master a Lazarin. You guys were out late last night. I suppose did you have a good evening? We did. Happy and now I'm Jack's in the face. Now I'm yeah. in a happiness deficit. I just apparently. Point to the shiner on Jax's cheek. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what did you do to do that to, to get that? Uh, nothing. Yeah, it was a Davian. Group activity. What did he? Yeah, what Brooks, did he do to Brooks deserve got that? Yeah, by someone else. So. Stand uh, closer than anyone else. 
By any chance, Brooks, did you show did you show the group your a favorite activity of yours? Did you? I mean, I gave him a traditional. You're welcome. And, and, <laughs> you know, I gave this guy a fair chance to back out of it. I, you know, I was just being pleasant to him, and he swung a punch. So. To be fair, I did encourage Brooks. So. <laughs> My lip reading is iffy, other man but from bad. what it looked like to me, you greeted him with, you look like a bitch, and then it just sort of went from there. <laughs> Actually, no, I think you'll find, what I said was, from over there, I thought you looked like someone I knew, but it turns out you just look like a bitch. Alright, oh, I only caught the last part, that's fair, that's fair enough. <laughs> thought it was fairly charming. I just signed a kiss, yeah, it, it, that was kind of funny. I mean, yeah, it was really funny. Taken in the wrong context, you might have thought you were trying to take him home. I wouldn't have been opposed to that either. Different kind of fist in that. <laughs> <laughs> we all, I, we all thought well. of the joke, okay? We all thought it. <laughs> Didn't expect anyone to say it. <laughs> Both of them, either time, a good session ends in bruises. Speaking right. of, Elazrin, did you have a good night? <laughs> <laughs> I had. Is yeah, Sarah Lachlan. down there too? Like, yeah, she's, had, she's, oh yeah. she's here. I had, a, you could both. I had a very nice, relaxing evening. Thank you very much. Why? Did you enjoy the tavern, Sirin? Hmm? Did you enjoy the tavern? Yes, I could. Well. It's a little too. Shiny for me. You you spent the night with the wrong man if you were opposed to shiny. That's true. Well, no, I mean, just not used to it, I suppose. That's fair enough. We just slept in the same room. I don't know what you guys keep insinuating. <laughs> not insinuating <laughs> yes, anything, but did she spend the night with you? Yes or no? She spent the night in the same room. Right, which well, might same bed. Oh, oh I wasn't going to let I wasn't going to let them know that part for they might insinuate further. Yeah, What's there to insinuate? Time. Okay, with enough of the insinuations. Did you have sex? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kes so much. No, we did not. <laughs> he offered to Why not? sleep. He on offered the floor. to what? <laughs> he, sleep on the floor. he said he would sleep on the floor. Did. So I told him no. The bed is big enough and. So nothing sleep. went on, but you couldn't just let Onu sleep at the foot of the bed <laughs> and you had to kick him out. I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of forgot that you You forgot about bath. Onu? How could you I'm not leaving him again over again. I went for a bath. <laughs> He's big. I was going to take him Onu to the bathroom. Onu can do with a fucking bath from now and then. Well, this is a very posh establishment. And I didn't know how they felt about He's pets. welcome in the dining room. I, mean, I don't know. I hid him under the right table. Now, I think. I think he's hidden in the dining room. I believe it's probably a no pets allowed. Why would they be uh, mad about a bird? Like every policy in a place like cat. this. Every. Policy. I was just going to say no pets allowed, but you know, half what? animal people are fine, or you know. Yes, because they're not pets. No, no. <laughs> see, every policy in a place like this is negotiable based on how much you put on the counter. I suppose we can trust Dargan not to shit on the floor, but. <laughs> just a little. I, like... I don't know, if you pissed her off enough know. that you might find something under your pillow. <sighs> I've seen people It's do most likely going drunk. to be a spear through your head if you piss her off, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, the thing you'll find under the pillow is the tip of the spear that has gone through your brain. That's... Yes. Yeah. So, you rolled onto it on, in the night. I don't know why they're making you out to be some sort of violent sociopath, like, and I think you're lovely. Just blank stare. <laughs> The blank stare of a violent sociopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> eyes glazed over. Just the like... apathetic, <laughs> just <laughs> silence. I mean, um, blank stare. So it's not like, like, as in, like, blank yeah. slack eye confusion. More just like facial expression does not change. There's just mm. no, no negative or positive. I'm just like she's, she's got a poker face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, um, I mean, I'm planning to take turn to the temple district today. I don't know what you guys will have planned, but. Um... We got to meet Father Ackle. Or is there a wedding planned? No, we are. Siren should, oh, interest I love in Siren should interest in religion, and the temple district and Father Ackle promised to teach her. Well, that, that sounds, sounds absolutely um, riveting. And I will be I... supporting you both from the other side of the city. 
That sounds perfect. That's that's, that's you know that's just what I'd be trying to do. Or at least we'd be trying to do. I'll I'll sign to Kess and preface it with answer this in hand talk. Um, we I I wonder if it might be worth paying a visit to Blackpaw as he overheard what I said last night uh, about the 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 guild. Also, I, if not, I just had a general question for him that I wouldn't mind asking in front of the rest of the group, but that part maybe without them. So if they choose to come, I would leave that out. Um, I'll sign back. I was thinking of the same thing that I might have a talk with this black poor. Try and smooth Plan. things over. Okay. Dagon and I are thinking about going to see um, black poor. This is Brooks, Jax, want to come? Dagon? Uh, Davian? I mean, if you want me to come, I'll happily join, but... I, I guess, why are we going? Is there something? I'll sign to Kess, um, that to tell them, since he has lots of naval... Because he was the one who was, like, a, a boat person, right? He had, like, the feather piratey hat and stuff. Captain! Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he was like, captain. the captain. Um, captain. Yeah, captain Blackpool. So... Uh, I'll tell her via sign language, tell the group I have interest in asking him about a specific location he may have seen on his travels on top of our personal business, which I can't always ask him in sign language because the group doesn't know it. Um, Dagan has some questions to ask him about a specific location. Given that he's a captain, he might know some things. I feel like, I mean, I should probably try looking into... Sooth, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, I'll probably take by the way, about that. Um, oh, God. <laughs> I owe you an apology for threatening you for knowing my name. Right. Apparently, that was an overreaction. Is... Apparently. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I hate, I hate to apparently. be like this. I hate to be like this, but. Wait, is, like Kess not your name? Hang on. Well, it's, it's part. It's part of my name. Kess is short. Is it still... Okay, so I was just about to ask if it's something you'd rather not be shared. But no, I'm... it's okay. Right. I assume I, you I'm prefer. Just trying I assume... to be comfortable with it. I assume you just prefer us still calling you Kess. Yes. Yes. That... I thought it was fairly understood that people just shorten their names all the time. Yes, but <clears> some people <throat> also sure, just have names that are short. Kes. You yeah. know, people call Joe and people call Joseph. Doesn't mean people call Brooks. Not... People call Jacks. I'm actually. Brooks is a nickname. Oh, what's your actual name? Okay, all right. Well, what's what what's your real name then? Do I get I to shout him out? Do I get to threaten him after for telling if he knows my real name? Of course you do. Fair, it's fair. Well, not if you're the one who told me. I wasn't. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I wasn't the one who told him. So, is that right? You could tell I... me, and then I could tell him, and then you can threaten him. I mean, Jax knows, so I could just not tell you all, and Jax. Yeah, yeah, get yeah, Jax to tell. No, no, Jax won't tell you, but. Oh. No. I dozed off for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Jax. I think he's had a rough night. My face. Yeah, he's probably concussed the poor. Okay. Concu all right, listen, I'm not that big. <laughs> I, I. You see his eye. I don't want to get any shit for this, all right. And I stare pointedly at Kess. <laughs> okay, I will not give you shit. As you put it. My full first name is Brooks Leslie. Leslie. Is oh Leslie? my god, Brooksley. Brooks That's so close to what mine Brooks. is. Brooksley. Brooksley? I can see why you wanted to change it. Brooks. Out of, out of character, how do you spell it? Okay, thank you. Brooksley. <laughs> yeah, I get why you changed it. No, no, see, Bruxley gets shortened to Brux. Brux then gets Brux. I just signed a cast. I like oh. the nickname better. Should we do it slowly yeah. or shall we do it Bruxley? <laughs> now, now you can be mad at him. Now you can be mad at him, you see. Now you joke. can threaten him. See, now you can threaten him. Kill him. <laughs> there, yeah. It wasn't even a good joke. I, was just... I feel like killing him is a mercy. At the moment, he has to live with the, the knowledge of what he did to Jax. Yeah, I have to live with the guilt of punching old man in the face and the hangover of uh, a very, very, very 
Good night. Jovial night out. I mean, a, a night out so jovial. Here. I thought reasonable to punch Jack in the face. I mean, my name is still a last one. This That's just boring. Yeah, yeah we, we all need to. We, we that. only call you a last one. We don't have time to memorize the last. Lazy, 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 Laszlo. Let's call Laszlo. 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 I quite How's like it going, Laszlo. 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 I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Joaquin, <laughs> obviously. Mine or yours? Mine. How dare you use Joaquin's name in vain? I'll be telling her about this. <laughs> if you have direct communication with Joaquin, I think me saying I swear to I swear to Joaquin is probably not on the highest list of things to ask for. Or to tell I could her. Probably about. Get in contact. I'll pull out a gold coin. And I talk to enough gods. Okay, you know, I have something to tell you about one of your loyal <laughs> servants. Elazrin, Laszlo, Julius, Nord, Dunbar, <laughs> use your name in vain. That coin nearly isn't shiny enough to get her attention. Can I make a wisdom? No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> What's the DC on being stricken down by your deity? No, no, I, don't, I go to use like a spell later session. Five. I just don't have any powers. Like, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't worry. We'll cross that ford when we come to it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, you guys can call it if you want, but I would prefer a Lazarin. Okay. You're a Lazzy. Or Lazzy, to be fair. I think that might be worse. <laughs> Lazzy. I just, I just so... a guess. Street. Right, well, um, I would like to visit the temple. Um, can yes. I go alone, Laszlo, if you want to stay with your friends? But... Oh, no. I promise, I promise I'd take you to the temple, so I shall go with you. All right, would you like to head out now, then? Yes, let's go. As we say, as Laszlo says, we go... And I just kind of like, <laughs> just quickly, just fucking leave. <laughs> just go, come on. Right. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you want me to come oh. with you, you two, I'll come with you. But I don't. I don't particularly care. Um, we can go by ourselves. Dutch. Right, Hello. I'll see you later. Can I phone? quickly? Bye. Just like very simple, like kind of half retcon. While I was waiting for Kess to wake up in the room, can I have had time to make a quick sketch in my journal of something? Sure. Okay, thank you. Outrage! How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Continuity <laughs> broken. Oh, if, it's not right. you. if it's not broken, he's going to be upset. Well, you're going to be upset. All right. So, uh, Elazarin <laughs> and Siren leave to go towards the Temple District. What is the rest of you guys doing? Captain Blackpaw. Captain. Those two are going to Captain Blackpool. Yeah. I uh, think they're going to Captain Blackpool. As far as you know, that's where we're going. <laughs> Avian said he was going to do some research? Question mark? Yeah. I don't okay. know where to start. Um, Davian? Mm. If you're just like overall like thinking of like what in place in the city would I probably be able to learn about stuff like this? Mm -hmm. Um... Your best guess from your time in the city would either be see if there's any books regarding Gusuf in the Snapped Quill in the Trade District. Okay. Or perhaps the temple. Because he's technically... I'll go to the Snapped Quill somewhat first. Somewhat of a deity. I'll go to the Snapped Quill. Okay. Uh, Brooks, what are you doing? And like by proxy, Jax will probably join you. Fuck, man. I, I don't have to do anything. You can just chill. You no, know, like, mandatory, you have to do something. You can just fucking No, buy. I'm just thinking what would Brooks want to do in this buy. scenario? Drink. Um, I'm going to go shopping. Fuck it. All right. There you go. All right. Um, in that case, we'll go to Daigon and Kess first. You make your way to the docks to the office of the High Sea Protectors, which is um, a, <clears throat> a navy, like somewhat of a navy that protects Eldilon and the trade route from the Empire to Eldilon specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that it's ran by Captain Blackpaw, the uh, yellow with brown spotted uh, tabaxi, uh, named as such because, as you noticed when you met him, one of his paws is black like the fur completely colored black and you're not sure whether that is just the coloration of his fur or some kind of 
wound slash burn mark. It, you couldn't really tell properly. Yeah. Um, as you approach um, their dockyard, you can see a fleet of ships in, vi in varying sizes. Some definitely designed with catching up to other ships in mind. Some armed to the teeth with 30 cannons on each side. Well, a variety of different types of ships for whatever naval uh, pursuit slash fights they would get into that we be prepared for. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the, the office itself is fairly simple. It's just like a... It's just this two-story building with like a sign outside. Uh, the sign being uh, two cross cutlasses, very, very pirate-like. Um, and you can see some workers all wearing these like black leather clothes with that same uh, symbol of the two cross cutlasses, like embroidered in their mm -hmm. uh, clothing. Uh, do you enter? Yeah. Okay. Knock on the door. Um. Come in. And as you enter, you see a uh, black dragonborn um, wearing an outfit similar to Black Paw, just minus the very fancy hat. Um, dragonborn is a is a male and has a scar running across his forehead, kind of down to his left cheek. Mm -hmm. Can I do for you? We wanted to talk to Captain Blackpaw. Um, we met at the council meeting last night. <clears throat> Did you now? Yes. I'm Drovak. I'm, I'm Blackpool's quartermaster. Uh, second in command, if you will. Um, what exactly is it you want to discuss with him? My friend needed some information. Um, you'll have to excuse her. She can't talk. Why not? I just points to my neck. Oh, I see. Um... I'll see if he's got time. How about that? Thank you. And he uh, goes to a, a room on the, uh, towards the side, goes in, and you hear some some muffled voices. And eventually, the door swings open, and Rovac comes out. Come in, Captain. We'll see you now. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. That would pleasure. Go and as you enter, you can see leaning back in his way too fancy chair, <laughs> boots on the table um wearing his fancy like d d d literally the most pirate like pirate clothing he could find including the hats with the fancy feather and everything love it morning good morning i'm sorry if we're interrupting anything mm, interrupting my morning nap but what's going on My friend is concerned that um, your understanding of her sign language may have soured your opinion of her. Why would she give a fuck what I think of her? I'm not sure. Uh, You'll have to ask I'll, her. I'll just sign back less what you think and more what stories you might tell others. Namely, a certain Pe Peter Riz. <laughs> All right, so let me just get this straight, or be straight up with you. Before I did this, I was a pirate. I assume. Lowest of the low. I don't give a shit. It's none of my business. Just don't try to steal anything from me. I wouldn't just signed, I immediately signed back, wouldn't dream of it. As soon as he <laughs> steal anything like, like from him. Nods. Feel better, Dagon. I nod, and then I sign to him. Since he was, I, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. um, and I pull out my journal, and the sketch I made this morning has three kind of, like, smaller images on one page. And one, the top, like, it's like two, one, two on the top and one on the bottom. The one on top is, um, like, a mountain range uh, that looks very, like, kind of craggy, very treacherous. There's, like, some wind and snow and stuff. And then on the other side is um just some like rolling sand dunes with a much more like gentle breeze compared to like the whipping snow in the other image mm -hmm. and then the bottom shows like an uh, a cave or like a cavern in some rocks but with like a beacon of light coming from the back of the tunnel or like a bright spot okay. and i show him that sketch 
and say, given you've traveled pretty far, have you ever found a place with these three landmarks all present at the same time in the same geographical environment? Well, uh, when you environment, you mean within the same plot of land, within the same, like, at, at what distance are we, are we speaking here? Like, within what would reasonably be construed as a town or a city. Like, one one gathering place of people. Not so like a whole province on city, a map, but like... township that has both snow, caves, or, and sand dunes. Or maybe, better way to put this, a point that was equidistant to all three. So an equal, all three were equally close mm. and, like, travelable within a day or two. Uh, can't say I am. Why? Looking for treasure? No, more of a history, hmm. uh, anthropological query. I am going to ask you a question, too. Mm -hmm. Purely because I'm curious. I don't mean any offense, but, um, you know. Don't see many hairless tabaxi around. So deal with that. Uh, I just say, your guess is as good as mine. Needless mm. to say, it was not looked upon favorably where I came from. Uh, people fear the unknown, things they don't understand. There's... Seem alright to me. Maybe a bit. Um, careless. Like, not making sure no one in the room knows sign language before you start signing. Well, she secrets. doesn't have a lot of other options, given that she can't speak. Oh, also yeah, sign but... I mean, in the two years we've been traveling, I can count on one hand the amount of times that this has ever happened, so. That's true. Right. Oh. See, it, also, it seems a lot more common here than back in... That you know of. That you know of. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Well, um... Sign language, the way, you, well, low lives typically have some form or variety of, but it all kind of boils down to the same thing. So, your parents, were they hairless? I nod, no. Interesting. Or curious. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry, I'm just. Not used or not. I, you're the first hairless tabaxi I, I met. I've heard of, you know, tabaxi without hair, but I've never met one. Really? I'd never heard of one. Well, you know, I've seen some before. Where? Um, back home. In the Valen Forest? That doesn't seem. I've never heard of any living in the Valen Forest. They keep to themselves. Is Kat's bullshitting? <laughs> See, I just look at Kat's You know, it would have been really nice to know that before we left that continent, considering I've been make trying a, to see Kess, if I can find Make a deception, any make a deception check, Kat. <laughs> oh, no. Is Kat's bullshitting? Yes, with every breath. <clears throat> uh, 14. Make an insight check, uh, Daigon. Inside is okay. Nineteen. She's full shit. <laughs> I I just go. You're lucky. I know you're lying, or I'd beat your ass. Considering you know for a fact, I'm trying to find <laughs> other hairless tabaxi. I have I have seen other hairless tabaxi, but not in the Valen Forest. Yeah, I am. Um, well, obviously, I'm familiar with. The idea that hairless tabaxi like yourselves are a bad omen. It's uh, one of the signs of the end of the world. Um, which I'm sure is why um, you're not with your people, right? I also do know that there's, there's definitely more of you around. I just uh, have to know where to look. 
unfortunately, I don't know where to look. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, well, thanks anyway. Anyway, um, about uh, your group, okay. you uh, planning anything exciting, treasure? We have um, a job we have to do for one of our friends, but after that, who knows? Right. Oh, Seeing oh. people like you makes me regret have, um, well, I guess I didn't really have a choice. It was either the gallows or become, you know, turn from pirates to privateer, I guess. When he also earlier said that, do you have any things? I kind of, my hand kind of goes towards my like pocket or like a pouch. Just like, un, like not even thinking, just kind of, but then I kind of like catch myself and I put my hand back. Are you uh, make a slight of hand check? It wasn't no. If he notices, it's fine. It wasn't like I said. It was un, I didn't even intend. I didn't realize I was reaching for it until I did. And I was like, oh wait. I mean, yeah, but I'm gonna see based on if you just slide a hand, oh, see okay. if he spots it. Okay. Um, sixteen. He doesn't. I noticed it with my pass yeah. <laughs> He doesn't. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, um, the Empress gave me a deal. Been, uh, been been pirating for you know, good, good 15 plus years and um, well this new continent suddenly popped up and figured hey new lands new treasures to find new trade ships to you know pirate stuff anyway um yeah. Unfortunately, I got caught, my crew murdered in front of me, and I got presented with a choice. The gallows, or become a captain for the Empire, and aid this whole shenanigans, the building of the city, settling here. So obviously I chose that, and, um, but man, would I give a lot if I could just one one last treasure, you know. Could you not so, manage to get away now? Go back uh, to... Yeah, getting older, you know. Plus, pay is really good. That's enough of an incentive. Piracy always seems really fun to me. It's, um... Who oh, wouldn't want to live a life of... finding treasure, adventure, rum... Uh, scurvy is a bit of a bitch, but... You must have been a good pirate to have... Of the best. Otherwise they would have just executed you rather than used you. Yeah, the Empress saw my skill and decided she needed someone like me to <laughs> protect the trade ships from the exact thing that I once was. Pirates. Inside takes a knowledge. pirate Takes a pirate to take out a pirate, I suppose. Hmm. Here we are. Oh. Anyway, um, anything else? We'll leave you to your nap. Sounds good. And he, like, tilts his hat. Uh, til tilts his hat to, like, cover his face and he's... <clears throat> It's Dugman. just D&D Puss in Boots, isn't it? Nope. Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> in aesthetic. Yeah, it's cool. Alright. Um, Brooks, you're shopping? Yeah. What are you looking for? Um, Where are you going? Okay. All the important shops are on the map, right? Aye. Cool. Brooks is just sort of wandering. Um, he has a lot of money burning a hole in his pocket. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. uh, Phineas Supplies is like a general store, right? Uh, yes. And then there's the bookstore. 
there's a potion store. There's a magic store. A pocket dimension, yes. I think that's all like the important shops, right? Um, well, in the crafters union, there's like, you know, blacksmiths, leather workers, bowyers, all that stuff. Do any of them make magic items? Uh, you probably know this. Uh, let me have a little look. See, um, no, the crafts district is mainly like, or the crafters union is a bunch of crafting guilds, magic items, which you would have to go to uh, the pocket dimension specifically. Okay. Um, uh, I will. Which is closer to where we are? Let me check. Sorry? Which is closer to where we are? The moment we're in. And quickly whip out the map. Uh, you're I'm in the elegant craft, which is here. Uh, uh, fairly equally Basically all of far them away. The like the it's on, it's both on the we uh, western side of the city. The okay. crafters union is just like. If you go left around the island with the keep on it, you'll get to the Crafters Union first. If you go right around the island, you'll get to the Trade District first. So it's really up to you. I'm going to go to the bookstore. Okay. First. All right. I'm just going to buy anything that seems exciting, which probably means either incredibly historic combat. Or smart, yeah. So I'm uh, either buying a book about a war in a far off land, or a porn book. Are you just gonna like peruse, your... peruse the shelves? Yeah. I mean, you're, no matter um, what, you're finding a book of a war in a far off land. Check. <laughs> Please. I hate the summer, Kuba. Perception. Yes. The fairy caves. Uh, do 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 do. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you spot one book. In particular, that kind of rings out to you. Um, called the Lusty Dragonborn Maid. I will buy the Lusty Dragonborn Maid. I will buy two copies of the Lusty Dragonborn Maid. Okay. Uh, you <clears throat> take two copies off the shelf, and behind the um, counter, you see Orvo, the uh, frizzy brown haired halfling that helped you compare the handwriting on that uh, contract. Um, in order for you to find Timothy. Was it Timothy? No. Yes? No. No, uh, to find, no, uh, to find uh, Jer Jeremiah. 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 Right. Timothy was a kid. My bad. Um, good morning. Morning. He, I, uh... he kind of looks at the books and... I see. You want me to, you know, wrap these for you? Or do, do you want to just take them? No, that'd be fine as there. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, two copies, that would be eight silver pieces, please. That's in my gold. And you pockets the gold, um... Anything else? No, no, that's it, thank you. Alright, enjoy. I will fuck off to the magic store. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you make your way to the pocket, uh, dimension. Uh, I don't think any one of you has been to the pocket dimension yet. Um, sure, this this particular magic store, no. No. What you see is a very extravagant um, storefront, fireworks, and all the all the shenanigans, um, and a big sign that just says the pocket dimension. And as you open the door, uh, you are met with. Um, a lot of people, a lot of shoppers, and the inside of this uh, building, a lot bigger than the outside. Um, it's like, the inside is like this, this gigantic warehouse with just shelves upon shelves upon shelves. Um, behind the main desk, you spot uh, a um, human male, uh, pale skin, blue eyes, pretty broad build, um, who immediately approaches you. Good morning. Welcome to the Pocket Dimension. I am owner and host Jonathan Brax. How do you feel today? Morning. Uh, I mean, it's half window shopping at the moment, but uh, I mean, okay. Do you have anything that you would consider weird and exciting that's not gonna 
make me incredibly fucking poor? Oh, um, probably, but it depends on what budget are we thinking. Okay, let's go with the thing that I want first. Um, if you have them, I would like some form of... I, I don't know how common it would be, some enchanted brass knuckles or something like that. Oh. If not that, then a hand axe, but... Enchanted brass knuckles? Um, let me have a think. Is that the Magic Argos catalogue? Give me a second. I'll put the number in, and you fuck it up, and you're like, shit! <laughs> fucking, like, yeah, no, I didn't beginning. want a patio table. Yeah, fuck. It just comes up with nothing. You're like, what? I've put it in right. You check, and it's like six eight and not eight six. You're like, oh, motherfucker. Um, well, what's the budget here? Because for weapons, enchanted weapons, typically, I, I enchant a lot of these myself. Uh, Five hundred gold a pop, a pop, the cheapest. Ooh. So. Okay. Uh, what's on the the cheapest end then? Just out of interest. No, that was like, that's what I said. If you're looking for weapons, 500 yeah. is where it starts. Okay. So, what's at the low end of that? Um, uh, utility, mainly. Um, the, uh, what, what do you do for a living, sir? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, for hire, depending on what it takes. Um, uh, at the moment, it's been a lot of killing things. Mercenary. At the moment. Right. Um, that explains the need for weaponry. All right. Um, well, uh, how about some, some, some throwables, maybe? Some devices that, that you throw at enemies from a distance and they, you know, explode or splash them with acid or... Like they explode. Hmm? Throw it at someone, they explode? That sounds pretty fucking cool. Well... The device explodes and whatever, you know, because met in the blast will definitely not feel very happy. Um, give me a second while I... One bag back. of napalm. Mm -hmm. You purchased um, a mini nuke. I've, I've, I've been working on, on these devices. These devices becoming more and more common. Um... Uh... As, as the art of using firearms becomes more and more uh, widespread, I'm not sure if you've encountered one before, but um, these little devices, and he whips out like a, like a, a metal ball with like a, a, a button on it. You take this metal ball, push the button, throw it at whatever you want to, to hit with it, and uh, anything within a space of 20 feet of the detonation will be caught in the blow. Um, it's quite effective. How much? Uh, these are about um, 70 gold each. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll take two of them. All right. He hands you two fragmentation grenades. That's in 14 plus now. Thank you very much. Um, anything else? Uh, no, I think that should be it for now. Right. Have a good day and uh, tell your friends. Sure. I will head off because Brooks is bored at this point. Fair enough. He now Anything has else? his explosive things. Yeah. Um. No, nothing. Nothing important. Okie dokie, Jones. Uh, we'll go to Davian. What are you doing? Have Apparently you? nothing. <laughs> oh wait, me? Yes. Yeah, it's Davian. Hey, what, are you... what is Sorry. Davian doing? <clears throat> I am going straight to a bookstore or library or both, if they're the mm -hmm. same. I mean, you know of the Snap Quill, uh, ran by. I do know of the Snap Quill, and I'll make my way there. All right. Um, with I don't know. I own who's, own who's doing his thing. You know, he's doing his he's doing his own thing, flying, walking. Wow, oh, I let Ono do his own thing and I'm a monster. You do it, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I left him in your command and I yeah. expected like a, a turnover. 
not just oh he's fucking outside or something. <laughs> You're babysitting and they're like, yeah, um, I saw him down the street right. a couple of days ago. Yeah. You make your way to the snapped quill. Uh, behind the counter, you see Orvo, the uh, the halfling that you've met before. Uh, are you just kind of like perusing, or are you are you going there with like are you asking I, him? I for will help I will or? walk straight up to my man Orvo. Good morning. Morning. Um, sorry, I'm still nursing a bit of a, a bit of a hangover. <clears throat> sorry, Oof, big breakfast. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> I'm looking for books on um elemental lords, primordial powers. Uh, mm, something quite common in this uh, in this new um, new world, as a uh, new continent. Um, the Kosuth. In particular, uh, Korsuth is a fire elemental lord. Am I correct? Uh, correct. I believe I have some, some, some. Fought in some war eons ago. Yes, yes. Um, I believe I have a book about that war. If that uh, interests you, that would interest me greatly. All right, uh, and he. Um... Uh, hops off a stool and goes to like one of the bookshelves and he's going um where was it where was it where was it right uh, I believe this was a war with 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 dragons am I correct uh, I, I think so right, if yes. my if my memory serves me right and he it's not that I was there not that I was there um, or anything but and he, he he grabs a book and it's it's titled um the elements I'll wait for you to whip open your notebook. <laughs> um, Ready. The Elemental War. Okay, simple enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this will detail um, all the you know events of this war, and and um, it's quite um, what, how do I say this? Quite the extraordinary event because it's kind of forced all the elemental planes to work together, whereas normally they're quite, you know, separate doing their own thing. Um, but, you know, the dragons were a threat to all the planes, and they put their differences aside, and um, have since, really, you know, managed to coexist a lot more than they used to. Um... Yeah, will that be all? Uh, I mean, if there's any more books that you might have on Kosuth in particular, or mm. or just a, a sort of general, maybe like, like you said, um, the, the, the elemental sort of you know that stuff's a lot more common here than it was back. Tell you what, um, the, how uh, long do you plan on being in the city for? Like a couple more days. All right. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of books. Um, how about you come back tomorrow? Give me some time to search and look for some books regarding elementals, and maybe this Kosuth in general, and um, just come back tomorrow and see if I found something. Yeah, all right. That's 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 fine. Uh, It'll be five silver how much? for that book. Five silver. All right. Mm -hmm. And I'll hand over five silver. All right. Is there anywhere to sit? Like you know, like places to sit and read. Uh, there's like a little corner in the shop dedicated to like for people to sit down and read. Yeah, I'll go I'll take a a bean bag. Okay. <laughs> and uh, have a leaf through. Is there anything about the author? Um. Yes. The author, uh, it kind of like the book starts with with a bit of an introductory speak or introductory mm -hmm. tale of um, a foreword. A foreword. There it is. Um, the author seems to be an Earth Ganassi, mm -hmm. who's um, lived kind of in both the elemental plane, uh, both the elemental planes, but also uh, the primaterial plane. And he's basically retelling the tale of the war as uh, his grandfather fought in it. So it is not completely based on his own experiences, but yep. it's the best you can, you can you can find. So that's with that you kind of deduce like okay, overall like the overlying, the overarching story will probably be accurate. But when it comes to like the nitty gritty details, probably yeah. not so much. How long ago was this war? Uh, several hundred years ago. Like, this is, this is, uh... How long did Ganassi live? 
Ganassi, I think um, it's pretty Ganassi similar to are only, Yeah, they're only marginally humans, longer lived than humans. Like, so humans, they would live yeah. to like 120, whereas humans so live a, to like, you know, 80, 100. It's very unlikely that the author is still alive. Uh, yes, that is, that is pretty unlikely. The book looks pretty old, and as you kind of like browse through it, you can see that uh, the book itself was published like 100 years ago. Mm, okay. Is there a... What's his... I hope he doesn't use a pen name, but what's his family name? Hold on. Let me... This is like... Dude, I wish I had like just an IRL like just binder with all the shits, right? So that I could actually like physically... Now, now life's like taka 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 searching my search bar between all the fucking documents that I, I mean, have. I uh... mean, if you ever really <laughs> wanted to just go ham one day, find someone with a really good printer, print it all out and start putting it in the binder, <laughs> make a table of contents. It would take you a long time. Um... Earth Ganassi don't really do family names, or Ganassi in general don't really do family names. It's typically... Um, but... Um, mm. This author is named Onyx. Okay. And then, comma, of the Granite Bloodline, is what it says. Okay. So... Hmm... Hmm... I don't suppose the... What was his name? Orvo? Mm -hmm. don't suppose he has a little, like, terminal with a Dewey Decimal system that I can, like, search. <laughs> search <laughs> no. Books by Granite Bloodline. Ganassi... No. Okay. Onyx is a Granite Bloodline. Mm -hmm. Is there, like... Oh, this is probably, like, a really presumptive thing to do, but, like, you know... You know, like crystal shops, you know? No, I don't. Where they sell crystals and, like, gullible... Anyway, uh, <clears throat> where people are like, I'm going to buy some amethyst because my toe hurts, right? You know what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. Is Obviously, like, a, uh, I feel like that might be a magical components shop. Like, they would have the same sort of thing. But I'm looking for something sure. specific. Like, I want to find a shop that might be owned by an Earth Ganassi. Someone made of rock. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that, I know that's a really very... dumb, like that's a uh... really like like dumb thing. But <laughs> who knows about rocks? You know. So who needs rocks? Anyone need rocks? Let me see if I happen. <laughs> Stick to of rock. Have... Whitby rock. Let me just see if I happen to have made a shopkeeper in the city that is actually in Earth Ganassi. Who knows? I'll quickly. Have a look. See. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So far, we as a party have not met, or at least there are no notable Ganassi yeah, NPCs I have in my campaign glossary. No, I, I, I yeah, no I'm, I'm Ganassi NPCs either. either. No, just no yeah. notable Ganassi. Yeah, all well, other than well, other than Kess, Kess is like no, the only... <laughs> no, no Ganassis. They're all boring. <laughs> How dare you? <clears throat> um, you are, <laughs> you don't know of any shops in the city that uh, like anyone really in the city that has. I mean, it would have to be a very small world if whoever did happen to own a shop with rocks was an Earth Ganassi from the same bloodline as the man who wrote the book on the Elemental War. But, you know, here's hoping. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Well, Earth Ganassi know each other, right? Oh. <laughs> All Ganassi know each other. Okay, he has a friend who's an Earth Ganassi. Hmm. I mean, so you know, there might, there might be a community. Okay. You never know. Hey, it's worth a shot, yeah. And you think the king uh, of the Earth can sell rocks? I need answers that are easier to get than reading a book, because that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How but, they... unfortunately, uh, I suppose they escape me, so I will spend some time reading the damn book. Okay. Um, how long? I want to sit there. And... I will I will skip to the first mention of Kasuf. Okay. And I will read until it stops talking about Kasuth. And probably, like... Okay. I don't know, did I bring snackies? Like, I could go a couple hours, probably. Sure. Um, what you read is that Kasuth was one of the higher-ups uh, leading the armies of the Elemental Plane of Fire. Uh, specifically against um, like uniting the front of all the four, the elemental planes, but he was in charge, he was like the general of, of the, the, the fire army, so to say. 
um, back then, it seemed that he wasn't at the level of power that he is now. Um, he seemed to be very much just another elemental that happened to have some military uh, prowess. Uh, and it seems that as you kind of, as they won the battle against the dragons, um, the four leaders of the armies, respectfully, uh, got rewarded great power. And that kind of put them in the position that they are in now. Um, Any mention of uh, an heir? Ginny? Or is he a djinn? I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. I know something called Jenny. 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 Jenny the Jenny. I went where Ethan went because he also said heir. And Jenny was like, Jenny? Heir of Slytherin? Uh, at one point, but then actually not. But no, never mind. Air Jenny's. <laughs> Give me just a second. Jenny from the block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hate us. I hate us um... all. <clears throat> oh god, I made it worse. <laughs> why are you this way? <laughs> why am oh, sorry, I this way? Everyone. We're on one today. For anyone listening to the podcast version of this, you made the right choice. <laughs> you just listen to everyone snicker at memes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and seeing Koiba just infinidab like the crazy. <laughs> and bring it back, boy. You find. Mm -hmm. Mention of. A Ginny. Jin. Mm -hmm. And his name is Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Name is Eiffel Sixty. Named, uh, give me a second, real quick. Named Rusmu the Fair. Rusmu. Yeah. That's the only like notable, uh, specifically genie of 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 air uh, mm -hmm. that you find. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's R U S M U, the Fair. I get fucked Ethan, you spell it wrong in chat. <laughs> I know I'm very talented, Belle. But believe it or not, I don't intrinsically know the way that Dutch spells every fucking fantasy name. You should. Ridiculous, how dare you? Um, this, this, a lot of them are just write. guessing. And Fuck you, you. Uh, you, like, the, the same, really, like, same story that goes for Kosuth goes for him. Um, leader of the Air Boys. Le like, <laughs> not necessarily leader, but definitely the one. Uh, his story's a little General. different. He um, kind of stepped up. When, because the fire elementals are much more in tune cool. with fighting and, and that sort of thing. Whereas the air elementals are a little more laid back. Yeah, you hear but that? In the, face, in the face of danger, um, Rusmu <laughs> seemed to have stepped up and kind of took it upon himself to, to be the one to represent his, uh, his plane. And uh, successfully so. Okay. I guess that'll do it for my time okay. this afternoon, well, morning, afternoon, whichever, <laughs> sitting and reading. Whatever and smell it is. Whatever smell the morning might be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever the smell of my belch into Paul Orvo's <laughs> face might yeah, have been. Yeah, sounds just vile. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we'll go to Elazrin and Sirin. Heading hey, towards the temple. Yeah. Laszlo. Laszlo. I hate I hate this. I love this actually. This is great. Hey, hey, this Siri. So Siri. made your way to the temple district and are immediately met by Father Ackle uh, at the um like inside the main temple. He uh, he greets you both and goes Good morning. I hope uh you've you've had a had a had a, a nice night and um thank you for coming. I do um I've been doing some thinking and as far as what Siren uh, is asking for as far as his teachings um do you have anything else planned for the day because I think I probably just have her hang around here for the day and she can kind of see what we do 
uh, on an average day, and I'll, I'll, I'll teach her the, the basics, um, unless you have other things planned, but... I, I, I have some things I'd like to do in the town, uh, city, so if Siren, you're comfortable here, um, I trust Father Ackle, and if you want to learn from him, I will happily stay if you want me to, but if you're fine with just learning from him, then it bothers me. That's fine. He seems to know what he's talking about, so... You're in good stead with him. Uh, um, Master Lazarin, I do have one, um, predicament. Oh, um, the crypt under the temple. Yes. A couple of days ago, we started noticing oh, some no. strange noises. Um, we barricaded the doors. No one in or out, but us, my students, were not really, you know, not built to go in there. And obviously, you and your friends, you've taken down a Hydra, which you perhaps, in exchange for payment, of course, be okay to have a look down there and see what those gurgling sounds may be I, from. I am more than uh, happy to. I will. Find and consult my compatriots and see if they uh, would be willing. Yeah, this started I a couple days ago, and uh, well, has it gotten worse? Well, mm, yes, but also um, we just instead of going down there to investigate, uh, we just kind of barricaded off the door because there's only one way in, and that's through the door under the stairs right here. But, uh, well. It sounds like, um... I have a sense that there may be some necromantic uh, energy involved. Right. I will... Let's say I'll consult the others. And, uh... I'm sure I can persuade at least one, of the, one or two of them to come. And help. Appreciate that. Um, we can obviously... One day off. And obviously, if anything does happen, um, whilst I'm gone, do just, uh... Yeah, of course, me and, and Siren will, uh, go about our day. I'm trying to keep this on the down low, because I don't want panic to erupt, and especially after all the sh shenanigans that happened a couple of weeks ago. Of course not. Let's Which is why, care. um, I've told my, my clerics to, you know, <laughs> hush hush, barricaded the door, and I was, I intended to reach out to you, uh, when you got back from... Your adventure, because um, I trust you. And you've helped the city before, and um, the less people that are in the know about this, the better. Indeed. Don't cause too much of the panic. Exactly. Now, can I just give them, give them both a nod, um, and I will leave Temple District. Okay. Um. I would like to head to, do I know where they're like post type, if I want to send something away, where would I go? Like, is there ships that do it or is there like a place that um, magically sends stuff off? Or? That would uh, be, hold on, there is a newspaper um, in the city that doubles as like a post office, but they also publish their own newspaper. Um, which is the the Aldilon Time, uh, and they also function as like a post office. Yeah. I will, I will, I will head there. Uh, okay. uh, which I believe is located. Uh, have a look. Mm. Where the frick? Uh, is located in the trade districts. Yep, I'll head over there. Okay. Um, as you go there, um, you are met with a bunch of like town town criers that are like 
there to pick up their newspapers to spread around the city and like like sell essentially uh, to passersby. Um, as you enter the office, you are met by uh, a small, uh, bright-looking gnome, uh, beady blue eyes, very tiny spectacles, and slick black hair, kind of combed, uh, kind of combed in such a way that it kind of covers a lot of obvious bald patches. Uh, Wearing some blue robes uh, with a with a quill embroidered on them. Good morning. What's going to do yeah, for you today, morning. sir? Um, do you have any just sort of paper and writing equipment I can quickly use to uh, construct a letter? Of course. To send off because I have just somewhere to send off into the mainland. Well, to the kingdoms, I should say. The kingdoms, all right. Yes, um, you can do that here too. We we take care of parcels and whatnot. Fantastic news and. I will kind of wait for him to give me some pen and paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he basically motions at like, yeah. uh, like oh. a desk where there's a bunch of like writing equipments. Just uh, uh, if you want to write a letter, you can do it there. And um, I'll, I'll uh, you know, take off your hands whatever you want to post it and we'll uh, make sure that it gets done. Oh, I will um, I'll DM you a letter in a, in a, in a, in a bit over the break. Yeah. Um, but I will also take that pouch that has the emeralds and the lapis. Um, and I will put in uh, all my platinum, okay, and uh, twenty five gold into okay. it as well. Um, and I'll like wrap up super tight, and I'll put like just other bits in it, and just kind of keep it wrapped up. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll send that off to the, uh, to the kingdoms. All so right, the dress for side. Um, we'll make sure that it gets there. Um, I believe there is a ship leaving with parcels and whatnot um, for the Empire. Um, this going to the Kingdoms means that it has to go to Fabra's footing first, which so might be a little longer. Um, that's fine. Might be a couple of weeks before it arrives, but uh, we'll make sure that it does. That's, that's fine. How much does it cost? To something? Um, judging by the distance, and uh, about, about, about five gold postage. It's quite, it's, quite, it's quite the journey. This parcel has to, has to take, so... No, I'll pay you five gold. Thank you very much, and um, thank you so much for okay. your business. No hand and base. It's fucking quite heavy parcel at this yeah. point. Just... <laughs> I've kind of kept it pretty well packaged. And yeah, and I will, I will dim you over what the, the letter I've written has said. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, fuck, I can split my money now. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that actually splits quite nicely. Never mind. What the hell? What the hell, are Um, uh, and then that will kind of be it. I think I'll just, uh, mill about. I just kind of walk around town, window shop more than anything else. Maybe if I spot any of the. Any of the boys, I'll just catch up with them. Mm -hmm. But if not, I'll just uh, uh, um, like what yeah. would you all kind of reconvene back at the hotel, or where would you guys go? Well, we did what we said we'd have one night. Uh, I I would go back mm -hmm. uh to the what's the first weeping mug. Okay, I would go to the weeping mug. Okay, uh, as a tavern because I think that's where I think that's where Lazen used to stay. So he all would right. go there. Um. And Bell, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like we'd probably just start going to taverns until we found them, assuming when we were yeah. done with our business, that's where they'd be, unless there's somewhere you wanted to go after speaking with Blackpaw. No. Okay. Uh, Davian, after you're done reading uh, for a couple hours, where would you be heading? Um, uh, I've no idea. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I've, you know. Well. Do a bit of reading, you know, take some actual notes about Kasuth and uh, Ruzmu and <laughs> go outside, smell the afternoon. <laughs> um, yeah. I would seek out a place that they have this coffee that Brooks told me of. Okay. <laughs> uh, like I mean, I can tell you like bags of it, or you want to just, like, get a coffee to, to just have a coffee right now? 
Find a Starbucks. I'll have a coffee right now. Um, yeah, I mean, a Starbucks has both, right? So, uh, I mean, yeah. probably, uh, you're you're you're, you're, right as far as you're aware, the only place that sells coffee that you now know of is the Elegant Carafe. Which is lame because it's going to be really expensive. So, I would. Uh, so, I'm not going to find anywhere else for want of trying. You should have had one at breakfast. Um, I don't want to buy that your, elegant carafe. Own no, but I know how it smells. Okay, Onu is at the table. Onu knows how it smells. <laughs> All right. So if I was like, I'm gonna go to like where the restaurants and stuff are in the city, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna use my keen ranger senses and those of my winged companion to. Follow the smell of coffee to the source. <laughs> Bell's dying. I don't know why Bell's dying. It's Bell's just been dying the idea. all fucking session. <laughs> I've been the hunting idea. down this latte um, for three weeks here in the jungle. Make oh. a perception check with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Yes. For each of us? Yes. There's a lot of scents in the city. Coffee's very hard scent to determine. A lot of scents in the city. Scents in the city. Get fucked. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Love that show. That's my character. <laughs> Fuck. There's a lot of sense in the city, and Davian has none of it. Hey. Imagine using your ranger familiar to find coffee. Imagine calling it a familiar. He's a real oh. bird. <laughs> I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, what happens I got a if he dies? Hold on. I got, what a, I got if he ten. Dies? <laughs> Thank I can you. revive him. You can Magic. revive him magically. So he's a familiar then? No. He's an animal that can be. <laughs> oh, and what? Anything you, anything you bring back to life with Revivify is a familiar. Did you magically summon him? <laughs> did you he, tame him? Or did he you magically summon him? He is a beast from another plane, but that doesn't mean he's not an animal. But did you summon him? Yeah, but he's an actual. This is an actual. This yeah, is a, okay. Thing. He is an actual animal, yes, but he's still a familiar. No. <laughs> no, he's not. Anyway. End of discussion. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fucking. Fucking. What the fuck is Onu's fucking wisdom? Sorry. It's a lot of, that was a lot of cussing. Um, he is a beast of the sky. He has a wisdom of plus two and my proficiency bonus, which is another plus two, which means he rolled a 16 in the hunt for coffee. Woo! You go on a hunt for coffee, and this takes you to the residential area, to the north of the city. I'm just gonna rock up to someone's house. And as you follow the smell, you can see a house that has a window open and the scent of coffee coming from said window. <laughs> okay, I, okay, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna go up to the, the front door of the house. Okay. And I'm gonna give it a rat a tat tat. I'm the cat in the hut. The door like opens and you are met by this um like like almost almost a yellow skinned uh tiefling. Um like late teens, early twenties, uh male Oh he's just a student. Um what are you? Uh, sorry about the disturbance, I'm Davian, but I couldn't mm -hmm. help but notice the smell of coffee emanating uh, from your house. I know that's a strange, I know that's a, a, a strange thing to say, but I've, I've been looking all over for it and I, I can't seem to find it, so I was wondering if you might be able to point me in the right direction. Of course, um, Phineas Supplies sells coffee, um, well... You'll have to, uh, you know, buy it in bags and and, and make it yourself. Um, do you know how to? How make do you coffee? make it? Well, it is powdered. So what you do is you get something to act uh, as like a filter. Uh, put it's a kind of like get something that would act as a filter. Put the powder in it and kind of like a tea bag and then boiling water and uh, drip, drip, drip. It goes and there's your coffee. Okay. Does he, does Phineas have? Sort of the, the, all of the means. Yeah, I believe so. It's uh, it's a bit. He, he sells like these these like uh, coffee making starter kits. They're a little pricey, but. Um... Well, uh, I mean, um, thank, thanks a bunch, and I'll just give him nice. a silver piece and 
cease the darkening of his doorstep. <laughs> As I go looking for Phineas's supplies. All right. Uh, you find Phineas supplies. Um, Phineas being the owner of this establishment. Um, is his head he, a try? He is a, a, a male human, a bald head, stubby nose, quite quite fat. Um, smelly morning. Well, smelly afternoon at this point. Oh, it depends on when you woke up. Anyway, um, <laughs> someone told me that you sell coffee i do indeed like a brewing kit of some kind i do indeed Is interested that... yeah i mean oh. all right um you have like a f starter yes um it comes with a little bag of coffee and we'll make you about 15 cups maybe if you're well depending on how strong you like it i suppose um and like all the necessities are your filters and and uh you know, cups and all that. Anything you need to make yourself some coffee. Um, quite portable too. So like if you're traveling and you, you look like, you know, dressing with a bow and a cloak, you you know, you're a, you're a survivalist, right? Sure. Outdoorsy. Yeah. You know, likes spending nights by a campfire and sleeping in the wild. More, yeah, more than most things. There you go. Um... This kit includes everything you need to make coffee, you know, around a campfire and all that. So, um, right. Uh, it'd be, be about 10 gold for the sort of kit. 10 gold? Oh, hold on. <clears throat> 10 gold. Yeah. You know how expensive coffee is, mate? No. Oh, now you do. 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much is just a bag? A uh, bag gold. of coffee, about 15 to 20 cups, uh, about, about four or five gold. And got ten gold. Hmm? It really is a Starbucks. <sighs> I mean, I feel like at this point it's you or the gilded carafe, and I feel like they'll probably charge more. So that's like gilded cup over there. Oh fucking! I, I mean, okay, you've got. You, I mean, the bag is what five. Uh huh. Uh, would you do? Would you do? Eight for make the full set. Make a persuasion check. I, you know what? I really hate being bad at charisma. <laughs> that is a natural one. That is a one of the natural variety. You know what I rolled? Oh my god! Mm. A twenty of the natural variety. <laughs> hey! You just get the some this morning. Like, it was free. No, Ten gold. Money. Thank you very much. Yeah. <sighs> Ten gold. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure it's great, and I'll hand him a platinum. Thank you very much. And he hands you this like coffee making kit, including a bag of uh, ground coffee beans. What What's in the kit? Um, like a little like kettle type thing. Uh, a bag mm -hmm. of these like coffee filters, pretty much. Um, an instructions manual that kind of explains you how to do it. Um, two cups. And uh, basically like like a device that makes it so that you can kind of like set it up so that you don't have to like hold it all by hand and you can just like click the filter in somewhere. Picturing... Boil, or like boil, boil water, throw it in there. And it, it's like a very like old school. A pour, a pour over coffee kit, pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I'm just picturing you have to do, like, like three pours over the fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I, my dad has one of those for our camping trips, so I'm just picturing like my full-on little camping stove with the <laughs> coffee filters and everything in D and D form. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I we you know we have no way to get in touch with one another. Mm -hmm. That's so, why I said we're just wandering through taverns till we find y'all, because probably gonna work. Yeah, eventually, eventually, like at this point, uh, you two will have found Elazarin in the Weeping Mug. Yo. I'll go. Just me. Assuming incorrectly that Lazarus will be in the Temple District, I'll head over to the Temple District. Okay. I mean, that also probably would have been smart. 
to go there, but we didn't. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> so you head to the temple district, and you see at the temple, you see Sirian and Father Ackle. No sign of Lazarin, though. Uh, <clears throat> Sirian. Do you, yes? Do you know where Lazarin got to? Looking for you guys. He, um... Temple seems to have a bit of a problem, and he said he was going to talk to all of you about it and figure out what to do, so I don't know. Problem? What sort of problem? Something along the lines of noises coming from the crypt. Oh, God. Noises from the crypt. Mm. Oh, that on vinyl. <laughs> Oh, God. Sorry. What's um, a vinyl? Never mind. <laughs> it, it, Father Eccles there as well? Uh, yeah. Father, I was wondering, um, I've been sort Hello. of looking into the uh, religious beliefs of the native people of the island. Is that so? And, uh, <clears throat> Is that so? Sorry. <clears throat> I've become... <laughs> Particularly interested in a character by the name of Kossuth, something to do with the <clears throat> elemental planes of fire, a general of sorts Kossuth, in the war of elementals. I'm not too familiar with, with that individual. I am. Um, what about. Uh, I know of, of, of you know, uh, some of the elemental figures. Roos Smooth God Affair? Like, Godlike powers and being referred to as gods, but. Between you and me, um, they're not really gods, right? So I don't really, you know. Well, <laughs> just kind of like, put my, it's my my things tucked under my shirt, but I just put my hand over it, like in a sort of subconscious, like he, I don't want him to hear this sort of way. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, uh, they you know, seem to sort of. If you worship something as a god, you tend to sort of get something in return, right? I mean, that's I how it seems to go for. Most people. So you you wouldn't happen to know anything about Kosuth or this Rusmu character or any anything? Just out, out. perhaps maybe you know someone who who would. As far as um, elemental, powerful figures, um, that's not something I, I I have a lot of knowledge about. Um, as far as someone who you might be able to go to, um, there's this woman who works in the Crafters Union. She is the head of, I believe, the... Hold on. Uh... She is the head of the... Uh... At the Workers Guild, she's actually a Medusa, a native to this uh, land. Snake um, mommy? She she hails <laughs> from from a few regions further north and ended up here and now works here. Um, she might be able to tell you a thing or two about because that's that's you know, native to her land and all. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll pay her a visit at some point. But thank you for the uh, for the tip. I suppose I should go and find my compatriots. Yes, I believe. Um, yeah, Lazarin went out looking for you. Um, that doesn't help if we're all out looking for each other. Yeah, maybe next time. I don't know when you're making plans to go separate ways. Set up like a oh, we'll meet back at this place at this time, perhaps. Well, I don't think we expected there would be a call to arms anytime soon. Oh, but just in general, just some you know, bit of advice. <laughs> DM's like, hold it by a priest. Yeah. Huh? DM's like, an idiot. Listen, we're all adults who can do our own things <laughs> and go to bed at different times, so we don't <laughs> need a fucking contingency plan. Oh, I will, uh, if someone wants me that badly, they'll find me. If not, fuck them. I, I guess I'll just I, I take the same approach as Daigon and uh, Kess okay. and just start poking my head into every tavern right, I well, can. Eventually, you make your way to the Weeping Mug, and there are Daigon, Kess, and Elazrin. Uh, Brooks, where the fuck are you? 
Uh, after his purchases, uh, Brooks would have wandered through the city. Um, if there's anything entertaining, like a, a fucking uh, theater play or some shit on in the street, or a no. fight, he watched that. If not, <laughs> uh, he will take a ten minute just walk around the city, and then he will go to each tavern until he finds the group. And for each tavern they're not at, he will have a drink and then move on. This man's about to roll D4, D6. Yeah. <laughs> right now, how many taverns I have to go to before yeah. I find you guys? And you have a drink at each one? How fucking oh, no. lost. Brooks is, is the toasted. last tavern you check, therefore oh. you'll, you'll, be, you'll be about four drinks in. Uh... Given that I was probably fairly fight. drunk this morning, do I need to roll a con save? Mm, nah, you're alright. Oh, because you saved I'm... this morning perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I took a tactical chunder on the way. Uh, and with that, as you all kind of reunite uh, in the weeping mug uh, before Elazarin goes to do his due, uh, I suggest we hit two hours. Let's take our break here and Yay! wake us up uh, in uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Mr. DM. Hello. Now that I'm not interrupting the flow of the game, mm -hmm. uh, is the hand axe that cast Thunderwave a second level, you said? Will you check that for me on the break? I'll check that for you. It's Also, yeah. Mr. DM... Um, I also took another bit of paper and like solid writing. Hey. Some shit. Yeah. Okay. Scandals. So right. Uh, yeah, just oh. whatever the fuck. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the fucking DMs during the break and I'll make sure that. Alright. BRB, guys. See you in a bit. Bye, sure.
Hello there. Hello, Hello there. Kenobi. General Kenobi. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for sticking around through our break, guys. Um, you're welcome. Oh my god. I mean, you Thanks don't have for a choice. Us. Chat doesn't have a choice. You don't have one. You don't have one. You're stuck here. I don't have a choice. No. You signed the contract. You're so making this. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we didn't need Davin okay, anyway. That was where we kill Davin. No, guys, in the fight, kill Onu. And then kill I'll Onu! <laughs> I mean, I guess, it won't I make mean, a I difference guess, to I our damage output. I guess this is how Onu dies. It's, it's quite a shame. <laughs> Would our combats be anything other than that this quicker is without how Onu? Davin chooses to die. First, literally <laughs> <laughs> seeing Onu murdered in front of him and then. All right. Two rangers if departing dies, from the campaign. <laughs> I mean, at least you'll the be on brand. The legacy continues. If on Onu, okay, if Onu dies, does his body remain? No, because it doesn't they poof off. We're not like still a... uh, in yes. familiar shit. Yes, his body remains. Yeah. Oh, cool. perfect. So whenever we're stuck Rest with our rations, a... we kill Onu, we eat him, and then and then Davian summons him. him back. God. Yeah, because that's not going to be a life of torture. And anyway. You're all in the weeping mug, kind of gathered around a table. What do you do? Why is the mug so sad? You're talking about the name of the tavern? Yeah. I always um, just assumed it was condensation from a decent cold drink, but... That would make sense. Cold drinks don't weep. I, Widows I, weep. Wounds I say, weep. I say to Kess in sign language, I mean, Wounds. lots of drunk people tend to get pretty weepy. Seems about right. Dagon says the drugs get weepy, so. Oh, that would maybe you know if I'm you could infer that mug works. was in reference to the man drink or woman drinking. Are, then, you, yeah, are you implying that I'm a drunk in general, or that I'm a drunk that cries? No, I'm saying that you worked as Who, a bartender, who's talking about so you? you know, you know, people cry if they get drunk. Not everyone cries if they get no, drunk. No, take things so personally, Brooks. Look, I'm just used to you lot all calling me an alcoholic, so... That sounds like a you problem. So, uh, how is everyone feeling today? Have you had a good day? Oh, what I got your present to last room. Huh? You got your present, your present. What? 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 I'll pass him one of the copies. <laughs> the <laughs> lusty dragonborn maid. <laughs> In full view of everyone. What is that? Is the front cover suggestive? Yes. That's a oh. real shame. Real shame, Brooks. Why do you own this one? <laughs> well, I, you can always trade it to someone else in the group, because... That's your yes, thing, you right? like interesting novels. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Does anybody have... Chapter 4 like... is particularly good. I'm going to skip ahead to chapter 4. The yeah. ability to... a lot of a lot of it's just it's smut. There's a lot yep. of is it inferred or is it just graphic sex scenes? Uh, and nice. It comes with it's... pictures and drawings. <laughs> and oh, wow! Wow! Picture book. I just pull out my own and I skip to chapter four. In a court of silver flames. There's a lot of it's... dragonborn cloaca. It's it's a pop up <laughs> book. <laughs> it's a scratch, and, a scratch and sniff book. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> dragonborn taint. <laughs> They don't have a team. <laughs> that it was like bread and fish. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, I <laughs> and, uh, will take out a. Oh fuck! I don't have anything to heat anything, unless I'm about to put a, start a small fire in this tavern. Let's so do that. let's do that. You have something? Eh, I don't know. I was gonna say you could use the. Tear, but hmm, uh, last time I put the tear in water, the water went whoop. It didn't get hot, it just, just wait avoided the tear. What if you yeah, just give it to someone waiting. to touch and then the, the, the fire from their hand being on, on fire? <laughs> well, yes, I, I, I think the time it <laughs> takes to heat water, and the time it takes someone to burn, and the time it takes someone to burn to death. I think, yeah, I, would be fine. I think they do line up quite well. Looks gonna be fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something I've never done before. Oh my god! And then I'll take the tear. Okay. And we I'll take out the kettle. Uh huh. And I will go to the bar and ask them if they could fill it with water. Gets done. Okay. <clears throat> and um, 
that's, yeah, I feel like there's no, there's no easy way to do this, really. I will... Uh, I'll take my mess tin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will, I'll put my mess tin on the table. And I will put the tear into the mess tin. Mm -hmm. And then I will place the kettle on top of the mess tin. So mm -hmm. that the tear is directly beneath the kettle and the, like... <clears throat> walls of the mess tin the the uh the kettle is resting on top and then i will close my eyes and like oh make uh, kosuth make this water hot please nothing happens uh, look as i'm <laughs> abracadabra just focus nothing Hocus Pocus. Uh, uh, what's uh? Does anyone speak primordial? I look at Cass. No. no, no, I don't speak it. I mean, I have this book, but she I don't think it helps it. me read it. Mm. <clears throat> in in Kende. I can't do anything. <laughs> also, I was, I was hoping to make it really hot. But uh, it seems like I don't really have the ability to do anything like that yet. So, I will take the stone out. Mm, no. I'll, you know, I'll leave the stone in. And I will take my tinderbox. And um, I'm going to just make a small fire in the mess. Because the mess should contain it. Sure. I uh, love lunch uh, this show. While he's doing this, can I just walk up to... Oh, fuck. I don't... <laughs> There's the weeping, wait, weeping mug. The, is this one of the ones where the bartender speaks sign language or no? No, I don't the, think so. Actually, I thought it was because the weeping mug does have language. outdoor seating though. So I will take this outside. <laughs> sure. And <laughs> is it like a wooden <laughs> deck or is it just on the like, on yeah, the street? Sort of, there's like, it's like, it's like a little like terrace kind of vibe going seating. on. What are the tables made of? Wood. Outside. Wood. Wood, you fucking numpty. Have what you never seen a metal table? Of... Fuck you! <laughs> Not a basic bitch pub. <laughs> uh, okay, pub. I, I, okay. I mean, in the 21st century, yes. Yeah, but we're maybe not, not in the 21st century. In... Yeah, I'm just saying, like, they might be metal tables. Uh, I don't want to okay. put hot no, thing no, on children. wood. Time so now, brown gonna... cow. So I'm going to sit on the steps of the terrace. Oh, I'm going to look homeless. Moron. <laughs> and I'm going to put the mess in on the thing, and I'm going to make a little fire in it around the stone, just for the sake of it. Or maybe that'll do something. And then I'm going to put the kettle on top to heat the water. You're okay. just making coffee on the street. Yeah, I mean, the fire catches, <clears throat> and it slowly starts to heat up the, the kettle. Yeah. Does the stone do anything? While he does no. this, I want to just no. sign to Kess. This is the person you were considering sleeping with last night. Just a reminder. Just throwing that out there. His intelligence doesn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> I just signed back fair. Yeah. Got him. And uh, yeah. <laughs> when the water heats up, I will take a cup. And I will take the apparatus. And the filter. And I will put some coffee in. And I will, following the instructions to a T, make coffee. a little pour over. I'll make two pour over coffees. Sure. And uh, admire my achievement. <clears throat> Slowly. I, well, I, now I have like a soggy coffee filter. I don't really know. Do it. Uh, Just eat uh, it into the street. <laughs> Just litter. <sighs> Like, I assume it's a trash can. If not... Sure. Okay. More orphan <laughs> boy. <in> trash can. <clears throat> <laughs> and yeah, I'll pa pack, it, pack everything away again. <laughs> and uh, Get take, a, take both cups to the table and I'll put one down in front of Brooks. And take one for myself. Coffee. Have a sip. Does it taste any good? Not as good as the coffee you had this morning, but it'll it'll do. Oh, you know, it's alright. It seems Is like it good? an awful lot of effort. You know, we could have just had a coffee with breakfast. 
Yeah, I wasn't going to pay for it though. They're I didn't fucking. Pay for Do you know how much I'll pay for this? <laughs> Do I know I... how much you would pay for something like that? I'm going to assume it's probably more than a coffee at the... Uh... More than one coffee. But do you know how many cups of coffee I might be able to make with what I bought? One cup of coffee at the Gilded Carafe. It is the Gilded Carafe, isn't it? Elegant Carafe. Elegant Carafe. Elegant Elegant Carafe. Elegant Carafe. Elegant. Do I know how much a one cup of coffee at the Elegant Carafe would cost, Mr. DM? Two free gold. gold. Two gold. gold. I'll say three. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three gold for one cup of coffee at the Elegant Craft. So, for the price of ten gold, I have a bag of up to fifteen cups of coffee and the means to make it. Can I try some? Sure, and I'll pass it on my cup. Drink it. Mm, it could use some sugar. Yeah, it's quite bitter. I don't really see mm. the appeal, personally. But I paid ten gold You'll... for it. I'm just going to pretend I like it. A half an hour to an hour, you'll see the appeal of it. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, dude, want to become famous? Yes. <laughs> so, so badly. Please do. <laughs> so, uh, I, hope, I hope you guys had a nice relaxing day, because um, I've been alerted by oh, the Temple what? District. Here we um, go. Yes, I know. It's a lovely start. What do they the have... priests want? Well, they've barricaded up their crypt, for they hear noises down I'm in. there, and they want us to investigate. I'm in. Aren't they just pray it away? No, funnily enough, not everything can be prayed away. That's that's bold coming from you, Elijah. I don't have to. What I do don't want to have to rat on you to Joaquin again. Oh my god! <laughs> funnily enough, Joaquin also believes this. But not everything can be prayed. And not everything can be prayed away. That's why we have free will, and the will of the gods isn't what we bow down to every three seconds. And uh, enslavement to them. Apart from you, obviously. We just help them out and they help us out. Exactly. To be fair, he's the only one getting magic powers from... What? Ah, oh, never mind. Take that back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. It seems to be pretty powerful for the course <laughs> at this point. But yes, the Father Ackle has offered us a reward for helping. So what kind of he... reward? I didn't ask, to be fair, I just said yes. Is it is it one of those, you'll get your reward in the afterlife sort of things? No, I believe it's a gold reward. I, well, I well, don't I believe... Mean. Yes, it's... For Father Ackle isn't exactly the type either to be, like... You know, fuck over people who are trying to help him by is blessing your... reward you're looking for? Yes, exactly that. It's up to you if you want to do it this evening. They seem like they're in desperate needs, been going on for a few days. But also, I know it is nice to have a day of rest where we're not constantly doing something. Want to I, I'm already bored and feel there. overly idle, so... Well, okay, let's go what did you spend your morning doing? Things. Read a book. You read a book? Was it this book? <laughs> um, for, if been... it was that book, I'd be a lot less bored, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> be a lot less energetic. Oh, although, Kess, I do have some questions for you later. Okay. Is it about this book? Yeah, there are some things in there that I, I think I need a visual representation of. <laughs> Well, there is illustrations in the book, you know, like... Uh, not every page. <laughs> every other page. The image is quite different to a TV Yeah? I will, I will... You can cut that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is my was fucking that, thing. Was, was that Koiba or a Lazarin? That, that, that whole thing. It was Koiba. <laughs> that was... That, that was... <laughs> He's dead! That was me! <laughs> oh my... I fucking inhaled my drink, dude! Oh very good, very fucking good. Fucking said as I fucking took a sip, what a... Yeah. Oh, fuck, that hurts so bad. <laughs> anyway, sorry, continue on. Right, well, uh... Before things get any steamier in here, should we go, uh, go kill some things? Hmm. Well, we don't know if we're killing anything. Who knows what it could be? Do they but have any idea, off. any assumptions? <laughs> no, they didn't check. They're not, by Father Ackle's words, they're not fighters. Noises from the crypt. Noises I, the crypt. Uh, I'll sign to guess. Sort of guy. He did mention to you that he suspects there's being oh, some kind of necromancy involved. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's necromantic in origin, in theory. But... Oh, then I'm absolutely in. Sahanin is not a fan of the undead. 
I'm gonna say that. And I would also just sign the cast. I mean, crypt dead people. Seems mm. like it. True, true. Well then. Let's get this party started. Let's get the show on the road and shall we head towards the. Uh... Wait, this is. Sounds like fun. Church? What? Is this in Temple District? I'm sure so you'll be is... okay, Brooks. Oh, alright. Brooks, if anything, we're going underneath one, so. You... That's not great either. Not a fan, are you? No. You'll find out. It'll be fine. Oh, fair enough. I already know. Wow, well, don't remember asking, Kess! <laughs> that in character or out of character? It was like muttered under her breath. <laughs> um, hmm. If we're going into a crypt. Big crypt, big crypt, big crypt. <laughs> Fuck. What just does happened? Does the crypt know. also double as a rave venue? <laughs> I, it will once awesome. we kill the undead. Not gonna lie, I've played a gig in a church undercraft and it's kind of cool. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's um, sick. Yeah. Fuck right, acoustics. Off we go to the church. I'm um, hold on. I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Don't hurt your brain. I might it's all need that to, coffee has um, gone straight to his head. I'm like jittering. Like I might need to. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I might need to uh, get a different, you know, animal. For a crypt. Well, yeah. I only can't really fly down there, can he? He I mean, upset you, you that could... badly. I mean, you could oh. always leave Onu here and be safe from the crypt. You leave Onu watching just in case someone decides to come after us. Mm. Before they barricade us in. The temple. Yes. I don't like. I don't trust. Have you not? Temples. There's bad people everywhere. <clears throat> I'm just. I don't know. I could. I could. You know, Onu could change into oh. something else. What would be useful? Like a like a bat. Dog. Ooh, dog. <gasps> dogs are so cute. What type of dog? I love dogs. They call them painted dogs. They have know. long legs and really nasty bite. Ooh. Fair. Not sure how long will that <clears throat> take? I don't think it would take long at all. I... <sighs> I'm sort of tempted to get another dog. Well, if you... Did you, you have a dog before? Good. I had a dog when no. I was a kid. Oh, Brooks, right. So did I. I'm going to... Yeah. I'm just going to look at Onu and be like, oh Onu, much in common. if I was to <laughs> summon a dog, would it be you? Or would it be like a different guy? <laughs> Nod for you and... Shake your head for a different guy. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Um... While he's asking, I just signed a kiss. I don't like dogs. <laughs> I'd assume you wouldn't. It seems to be in her nature. They just smell so bad. <laughs> Especially when they're wet, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They jump in a river and then they come out and then... And they just roll in everything. Like, why? Why? Why does something that smells um, bad? He will to nod um, to. He, he nods. Okay. I will. Um... How long does this take? Not long. It uh, like just. just it, it does not specify. I'm just going to say right now. It does not specify. It literally just says. <laughs> When you finish a long rest, you can summon a different primal beast. <laughs> like, that's it. So, like, once per long rest, I can just summon a new one. And the description is just, you magically summon a primal beast. There is no description on how long it takes. I think I can literally just do it with one action. So, obviously, you know, I, I made a bit of a, a ritual of it. So I will, um, I guess... Go to the fireplace of the tavern. Okay. Throw Onu in. <laughs> <laughs> no. And uh, I will. Put in dog out. Oh no. I will like run my hands over one of Onu's wings, mm -hmm. and I will take one of the feathers that is sort of you know already kind of sloughing off, not just kind of yoink one of the good ones out, and uh, I will. Sit close to the fire, 
and just like concentrate on the image of the uh, the dog that I would like to summon, and I will like crumble the feather into the fire. We don't get any more Shoebill Stork sound effects. And you see, as For one you, episode, Onu <laughs> sits beside you. And as you perform the ritual, his body, his shape starts to shift. And where Onu once sat, now stands on four legs, a painted dog. Oh. The same, like, cool prior, primordial animal. symbols kind of, like, spread around its its fur. Instead what of the, kind of dog instead of the green like? eyes that Onu has, uh, painted these, dog. Eyes, these eyes are more red. <clears throat> Is he like a mastiff? Is he a shepherd? A like DS a dog, chat, Laura Kay. Oh uh, a painted dog is a type of dog. It's like yes, a... it is a oh! wild dog. Oh, it's like a hyena. Okay. Cool. And, uh, yeah, that looks I'll stand up, stand up from the fire. They're quite big as well. Um, yeah. Relative Dude, to domestic that looks dogs. Cool. I'll look down at Onu and I'll give his head a tussle and his ears. He does like the, the, the head shake. <laughs> Right, so this way I don't have to leave you outside. Isn't that fun? And uh, I'll I'll head back to the party with my new dog in tow. I will immediately go and give it pets. I will stay far away from it. He will allow it. <laughs> Bite your hand off, just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now Onu can accompany us beneath the temple. Well then, shall we? Head on over. Moves you All right. over there. You'll be fine, Brooks. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. You make your way to the temple district. Hi. Um. <clears throat> you are all met by Father Ackle, and you can see Siren in the back of the temple, like just talking to some of the other clerics. They're there, and um, Father Ackle approaches you all. Um, I'm assuming this means you've decided to have a look. Mm. Yes, indeed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, what we'll do is, um, some of the clerics will, will pull all the, the stuff that we used to barricade the door out the way, let you in, rebarricade it after you enter, and then just, when you want out, just knock twice on the door, pause, and then knock three more times. Okay. Good one. Good one. Is there light down there? There's a bunch of torches. It's um, it's a crypt, so there's a lot of coffins and suck off a guy and and whatnot. But there's there's there's. What did you just say? Time. You did what? I, what did you do? I, we I all heard it. Suck off a guy. Yeah, but but it's that. Sounded... Are you from Boston? <laughs> one sarcophagus, multiple sarcophagi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's coffins and suck off what? a guy. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Egyptians were kinky. Oh, I hate you. Right. <laughs> Even though I knew uh, what you were saying, yeah, we all hearing it, my brain was like, "What?" Even though I know the word. Oh my it, it, it was, it was, it was the inflection of just like <laughs> suck off a guy. Suck off a guy. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect? Something doesn't happen. Church basement. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're adding. You're adding. You're 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 creating. We're adding hit points for the baddie. Every we're time you make a shitty joke, he adds like true go. and dead. Keep it going. Yeah. More. <laughs> Every bad joke is another zero to the HP pool. Go on. <laughs> test me. Yeah, yeah, in front. <laughs> Fucking test me. Yeah, in front. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh. I'll help move some of the stuff out of the way as well. And, okay. Um, I will pull out my drift globe. Okay. Oh yeah, you have that. I'm just kind of just hold it and wait for it to open up. Yeah, I mean, you you whip out the drift globe. Uh, do you say the command word or? Uh, let me. I'm pretty sure I can just say the command mode and it just happens. I'm just double checking there's not like a type. Yeah, I will I will uh say Hyorn and get it Vonk and then uh Rua. So I'll make it just follow me. Okay. Just like have five foot behind. As the door opens, uh you see a stairway that kind of descends into a uh room. 
as you all enter this this like stairway, the door behind you closes, and you can hear the the shuffling of of uh, stuff Gambling. being put back in front of the door. Um, the staircase down leads into a room about forty feet wide, sixty feet long, with three doors: one on the left hand wall, one on the right hand wall, and one straight ahead of you. Um, along the walls, there's like all these like uh, like gaps in the wall that has coffins with like plaques attached to them so they mark graves and who's buried there or who's who yeah who's whose rest final resting place that is um there are torches in this room and they are lit okay i'll still keep my drift clip out just following hmm? does anyone have any mint 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 no i'm afraid no, not. i'm afraid I've just got a horrible taste in my mouth <clears throat> Probably from all the dust that's down here. Mm. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure it'll pass. You get used to it. So, can I listen I out cider. to see... <laughs> can I listen out to see if I can hear any, um... Like, of the sounds cool. that they mentioned? Make a perception check. Well... I think I have something open. It's a dirty 20. You hear coming from behind the left door. Right. It seems I can't like wait for a second. It seems the left hand door is where our quarry is. I kind of like. I assume we're not bothering to be quiet since our entire point is just to come down here and kill them all. Oh no! I was just letting you know that's where they were. Um, oh okay. I'm gonna cast a uh, mage armor on myself. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start swigging from a bottle of pear cider. I. Okay. I can okay. maybe clear out the way once we open up the door, but he'll more push them back rather than destroy them. I mean, uh. I won't argue against a little bit more distance to work with. Especially oh. if they're at the door. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Mm. How kind of sound it. is this, though? Is this place? Hmm? How structurally sound is this place? Like, I mean, it's underneath of the crypt, so... Pretty yeah, structurally have... sound. I wouldn't... A new hand axe, which can do the... the blammy. Or I bought these things. What the... What are those? You throw them and they explode. I would avoid that because we are. Remember, we are in the burial site of people. So we want to disturb. I, I'll also I think sign they're already cast. disturbed right. if they're up and wandering about. I'll That's sign true. a cast. Tell him though we could, if we damage the structural integrity, we could literally have a church fall on us. If, depending on how powerful those are. I will repeat that. Oh, I mean, I'm sure this place is more solidly built than your average you'd abode. Surprised, but you'd be surprised I when people think... I have faith that, that nobody will collapse a church. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, how it works, right? You say that no, you have faith in no, it. No, that's you not believe hard enough, it will never fall down. Exactly. I will go up to the door. Is it locked? Uh, no. Okay. Um, when I open up this door, I'll be at ready. I'm going to try something. So if you want to get close, now's the time to do it. I would like to get close. I would also like to get close. I'll send Onu forward. And <clears throat> I will open up the door. Mm -hmm. This and door leads to another stairway further down. Is there anything there? Like right? Uh, from where? From the top of the stairs? You can't see. Yeah. Even with my 300 foot dark vision? Well, yes, because the stairway goes down, so if you look straight ahead, you'll see a ceiling. Um, well, I meant, like, I can look down there. Well, yeah, I say no, look like straight down. Like, like, tunnel bits, or, like, the stairway, yeah. stairway down? No, nothing. No, oh, okay. It flattens out, and then, I guess. Oh, we see. Yeah. Which is, like, I guess the down one. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess you like that. You could roll one of these down. I mean, I could... No, I can't roll this down. I think it deactivates if it gets too far away from me. You can see that there there seems to be torchlights, like kind of like flickering. Uh, 
We'll just go down carefully then. Now I'll be doubt they're being in a crypt, but I'll keep an eye for traps as I start to walk forward, kind of slow and walk forward slowly. Make an investigation check. <clears> Hell <throat> oh, yeah, baby. Fuck is that number? number? Oh yeah, just because these dice are really hard to read the number on. Investigation seven. Mm. As far yeah, as you can tell, the traps. Hell yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. Still going down carefully though, but yeah. Ben good. Blonk, 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 blonk. Great. <gasps> okay. Oh, and as you goodness. enter the room below, uh, this is what you see. Hell Hold. yeah. Hold. Hold uh, the door. Ooh. Ooh. Boom. Oh! Oh! Pretty! I'll quickly just see how this looks on stream. Um, so, we're using something new here. Uh, uh, a That's software so called Tailspire. Uh, this is a tester. Um, tap yeah, into that, please. The there horror. we go. Boom. Whoa! What the fuck was that? There's uh, so many hold, zombies. I can hold tab and like, they'll, they'll have names and There's stuff. There's 10 so zombies. So, this is what you see as you all kind of, kind of like enter the room and stand here. Can we um, add a dog? Yeah. I mean, hey, you want a dog, dude? You want a fucking dog, bro? Mm -hmm. Hold. Find you a dog. Got a chicken. There you go. Hey. Oh, whoops. Fucking chucked a bunch of dogs in. There you go. Boom. Dog. Crazy. Dog. It's that, e it's little... that easy, dude. Look at that. Oh, Boom. You have a Is dog there a little, like, by your side. And again, it, it Is there a hold on? Yeah, there are, there are imps and stuff that would work, right? There you go. Dog. Beautiful. Doggy dog. <laughs> Dude. Dog, I will. Um, I like it, the dog. Hmm. Yeah, seeing that, and as rough as it is, I kind of want to get forward a little bit. Just kind of be slowly, kind of moving forward. I have Make a stealth cool, check. I have a cool thing I can do with my axe, but you might not want to be near me for it. That's uh that's a nine. No, it's not even that. It's an eight. Oh, oh god. How deceptive is a horde of zombies? Walk up like ten feet. Mm -hmm. Immediately, all these ten zombies just tilt their heads towards you and just oh, okay. start making their way towards you. Uh, roll initiative, please. Yay! Oh, I was hoping to get this nice one. before that happens. Yes, Shadow, no, fucking... uh, I... I... What? Can I vigilant blessing myself? Huh? Can I vigilant blessing myself? Is that an action or a bonus action? Because we're rolling initiative right now. Oh, it is an action. So no. <laughs> Damn. I need... For what I want to do, I need a high initiative. I mean... It doesn't matter where I go, but going but going early would be better. However, this dice teased me. It teased in that 20 and then changed. And then fucked you. It was like... <gasps> I'm back to my regular initiative bullshit, y'all. Hey, nice. that's how we know when we're actually playing D&D &D or not. It's Although the, uh, it's good, because it means I'm going to get the natural one out of the way now. Um, oh. Not during combat, so... Don't, oh, no. don't worry. I feel like all of my oh, dice are going to fuck. fuck me today. Hmm. All right, initiatives of 20 or higher, please. Hawthorne got 21. Yo, me and Hawthorne, the bros? <laughs> the bros. Hawthorne got 21. Yo, this thing tracks initiative too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, should we add a Hawthorne? I'll add a Hawthorne, Hawthorne. real quick, yeah. Hawthorne! For the sake of the order. <laughs> we pimp him out, does he become a Hawthorne? Uh, like a little imp. There, there's now. imps in here, yeah. They're like imp ah, fuck it. This, this, this will be Hawthorne for now. Next time I'll, I'll okay. let him look see what Damn, he ugly. There we go. Um, okay. So Hawthorne is 21. 21. Anyone? Anyone I'm else 20 plus? 21. I'm also 21. Brooks. Who was the higher decks? Hawthorne or Brooks? I'm assuming Brooks, right? Three. I would assume Brooks, yeah. Uh, well? actually, Hawthorne has four. Oh, oh shit. No way. Hawthorne's oh. gonna die, and I'm not gonna feel sorry about it. Okay. Um, 15 to 20? 10 to 15? Oh, wait. 15 to 20 was me. Uh, 19. 19, okay. I just, like, blacked out for a second. You okay. blank out. 10 to 15. I got a 10. Yikes. It's with a plus 8, by the way. Okay. 5 to 10. 5. Five. Was on that 20, roll to a 2. 
Nice. Um, okay. I got a four, you but it's a natural, hit? natural one plus two. I need to roll for jacks. You do. Uh, fucking. He has a plus uh, zero, five. I think. Yeah. No, he has a minus two. Oh, whew. Five? Yeah. Okay, now give me a second to get this fucking initiative order going. So, uh, top of the initiative, we have Hawthorn. Hawthorn! Pretty cool, look at it. Then we have uh, Brooks. Then we have the man. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Then we have seven zombies. <laughs> and then we have all oh, zombies. Oh, God. Then we have you. Dang. <laughs> then we have this guy, um, this guy, this guy. Oh no! <laughs> uh, this guy. Oh boy, I'm so. Oh good golly uh, gosh! I always wanted to die. I'll see y'all in an hour. Uh, okay. What are you guys willing to do to survive? What about sarcophagi? This guy. Oh, tough. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ooh. I see what I'm going to have to do. Uh, I know I'm got, going to try we to got, do. We got, where's Jax? Jax is right here. When the monk is going after Jax, feels bad in initiative. Just Jax based. Why can I not? Why can I not? Why can I not? Why can I not? Jax to the fucking initiative order? Because he's not here. That's not oh, how that nice. works. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. Why can I not add you to the fucking initiative order, Jax? Hello? Is there a why cap order, on people? Why, in the hang on. Why are you ordering Jax next and not me? Because if we both rolled fives and I've got more decks. Oh, because uh, I'm stupid, I guess. Sorry. Oops. You're welcome. Oh, is the fucking initiative order cap? There's no way, right? I was like, I wonder if it is. Wait, hold. Uh, maybe. We're learning new new tools, everyone. New Bear software. with. Yeah, it's a no, 10. No, we're, good. we're good now. Yeah. Okay, never mind. It's hey. just Jax. It's, it's just, just, uh... just being dumb. <clears throat> Big <clears throat> blue bully. That blue man. Uh, <laughs> we got... And all the rest of the zombies, <laughs> then me. <laughs> this guy. Oh, it's just... It's when I hold tab, it fucks it up. I see. Boom. To, like, see who's who. That's, that's when it fucks up. And then... We have Daigon. Oh, I'm not last. No, you're not. Uh, and then we have. Uh, oh, I you sounded so disappointed again. that she wasn't last. Boom. Need to it's a perfect again, chance to, to rush it and run away after everyone else has taken two bites and turned. Boom. One, two, three, four, like five, six, top. seven, eight. You're missing nine. zombie three. I'm missing zombie, zombie three. three. I am. Then you're good. Zombie three, no. There he is. One. Zombie three, you were the best of us. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Yay. Good. Woo. Now we can um, see So with that, it is uh, Hawthorne's turn first. What does Hawthorne do? Let's go. Let's see how far away can he shoot that thing? Because he's just going to fire his bow. Yeah, he can fire it from like a good ways away. So he's going to be uh, kind of like far back near the wall. Yeah, about there. Okay. And shoot zombie one, I guess. Why not? So me number one, roll, uh, yeah. roll to hit. Do, do, do. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. Uh, that was a 16 to hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure that hits. Yup. Yes, it can. And they have to yeah. make a con save. Okie dokie. Oh, will he just instantly put one of them to sleep again? That would be um, wonderful. Con save, man. Uh, 15. 15? Okay, he's oh. fine. But he takes one damage. One whole damage, very nice. Oh. All right. Is that a Hawthorne's turn? Yeah, that's Hawthorne's, Hawthorne's turn. Hawthorne's carrying already. <laughs> Brooks. Okay. Uh, question. I'm yes. pretty sure I know the answer, but just taking it anyway. Uh, with the hand axe, it still counts as uh, casting Thunder Wave, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I have 40 foot of movement. I would like to get into the center of them all if I can. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, you can get like here. Okay. Look at him go! Uh, I'm going to use my action to cast Thunder Wave with the hand axe. Okay. What's uh, the area? 
It's a 15 foot cube originating from me, so I would assume centered on me. 15 so foot it's a cube. three by three square. So a three cube. by three square centered on you. Yeah. So centered on you, or can you be, be like at the edge of it? It says originating from you. Okay, it so it'll, it'll, be like the, it'll, be, it'll be like this square right here that you can hit. I can't see your mouse cursor. Yeah, no, so there's, you can hit this guy, and the one this in front guy, of you. and these are just on the outside of it. Yeah. Ah, bitches. Um, if I know that I can only hit the two of them with it, mm -hmm. and that's at the edge of my movement, yeah, no, fuck it, I won't do that. It's a waste of potential damage. I will instead... Okay. Uh... No, fuck it. I will do it. Okay. Okay, fuck those two guys. <laughs> uh, make constitution Whoa. saving throws, please. Con saves for both of them? Yeah. Uh, natural 19 and natural 4. Uh, one passes, one fails. Okay. Um, the one that failed is pushed uh, 10 feet away from me. The one fails to fuck my booty pipe. <laughs> uh, three damage for the one that failed. Ooh, unfortunate. Okay. And one damage for the one that uh, that passed. It's two d8, and I rolled a one and a two. That's cringe. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am very sorry for your loss. <laughs> Anything else? R.I.P. Uh, yeah, because I can't cast spells while I'm raging. I want to do that first, so I will know. Uh, the fury of how ineffective it's been. I'm a fucking rage, baby. All right. Hey. Can but. someone quickly remind me, is dash an action or a bonus action? That's just you. an action, unless you spend a key point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, or yeah, your yeah, yeah. rogue. But just a regular or, dash. Or, yeah. it's, it's an action. action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. All right, uh, that means it's zombie number five's turn, who is situated over here, and he's going to just... <laughs> Wait, eat my ass. Moves away to you, and he's going to try, and uh, he's going to try and slam you, just with, with his, his hands, just... <laughs> uh, that's an 11 to hit. Doesn't hit. Yeah, so you manage to kind of, like, just catch it with your, with your forearm and just kind of push him back. Uh, Get right. the center fork. That's his turn. Yes. Um, I'm gonna move forward thirty feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be right here. Cool. And then I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Uh, the one on my left. Uh, like In a diagonal the line. leftmost, like this one. Yeah, like yeah, that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Number ten. Roll to hit. Woo. Okay. Where's my combat? Uh, 19 to hit. 19, yeah, definitely hits. And that is a uh, fucking. Oh, nice. Uh, eight damage of force damage and two thunder. Two thunder. So, All right. Total. The 10 points of damage total. Very nice. Very nice. Anything else? Nope, that's it. All right. Zombie number six is going to <laughs> towards you <laughs> and try and uh, try and slam you. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Oh, just hits. Just hits. There we go. Is that with your mage armor? Yep. Oh, unlucky. Uh, you take. <laughs> quickly check. Five points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Ooh. That's a um, battle sting. Yeah, take five points of bludgeoning damage, and that is his turn. Next up, zombie number seven. It's going to also eh, towards you and try to hit you as well. Kes? Yep. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Yep. For another five bludgeoning damage. Cool. Um, let's see. Zombie number eight over here, so he's going to rat to hey, Brooks. Well, I'll do. He's going to try and slam you. With a 15 to hit. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit, so he misses. Uh, zombie number nine is situated over here and is also just going to close the gap to Kess. <laughs> oh, no. 
Uh, well, an 18 to hit? Run. Yep. It was a good run, ACAS. <sighs> Fucking hell, seven points of damage. Seven? Yeah. Cool. Oh no. Oh no. These are all D6s, and I have not rolled under a four <laughs> on my damage dice so far. Damn. Um, okay. That is their turns. Davian. Uh, just to highlight them real quick. Okay, so is that one, two, and three all together at the back there? At the back, yeah. yes. So with my new longbow of entangle, Ooh. Uh, I think I want it. What's the range? Uh, 90 feet. Yeah, you'll easily Which, get they're well within 90 feet. Yeah. yeah. Like, the room itself... I think... The room itself is 100 by 100, so, like, literally... Yeah. If you say, like, you stand here, you'll be able to reach, like, the back wall. So, like, you're fine. Okay. So, those four, actually, um, the three in a line and then the two... Uh, the one that's sort of base to base with uh, Brooks. Yeah. I want to cast it and tangle. It, it's a 20-foot square. Okay. So obviously I want to cast it in such a way that it, it won't get Brooks. So I guess centered on the middle of the three zombies. Yeah. Um, like 20 foot squares and like 20 by 20, right? Yeah. It's so like a four by four block. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, yeah. So that. they all have to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, With a DC of 13. That's one fail. That's two fails. That's three fails. That's four fails. Okay. Oh. Uh, they are all restrained. Okay. Uh, which means that we have advantage on attack rolls against them. Very nice. Uh, and uh, they can't move. They can make a strength check. In they can use their action to make a strength check against the to like break Is out there? of the vines. So you shoot your you uh, you shoot your arrow, and instead of striking one of the targets, you just hit the tile on the floor, and from your arrow sprout is this blankets of thorny vines that lash around these four zombies in that space, making them unable to move. They look down a little confused, but then their mindlessness just goes back to... Um, and with my bonus action, I will send Onu to uh, the zombie to the right of Kes. And maul it. Ooh. Which... He that was at least twenty feet, right? Uh, yeah, that was because Onu was like here beside you. He that's, was to the like, right of the yellow guy. Yeah, so that's uh, just uh, pretty much dead, bang on twenty feet. Yeah, bang I think. on twenty feet, pretty much diagonally. Yeah. Which means that he gets a extra d six slashing damage to his Ooh. maul because of okay. his charge Ooh. ability. Nice. Uh, wait, it's belly attack. My spell attack modifier. Okay. Whoa. Oh god, it's not good. Uh, twelve to hit. That hits. Oh. Hey. Oh, thank God. Or number seven. One d eight and one d six. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of damage. Hell yeah. One d eight, one d six. Two damage income. Plus four. Six. Oh god. Seventeen points of slashing damage. Oh, oh shit! Me. Yes. Ooh. Onu just jumps up and just. <laughs> starts tearing into the zombie, biting chunks of flesh and just ripping it straight off. The zombie looking a little worse for wear, but is somehow still standing. It needs to make a strength saving throw with a DC of 13. Uh, 11. It is knocked prone. Okay. Uh, is there a way for me to like be like, haha, prone? Stat oh, go to the status icon on the left. Emotes, maybe? Emotes. No, status. There, status. Knocked down. Pop. Hey! There you go. Look at that. That's rad. That's the only one they have. So he's knocked down. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Look, he's like. Oh, he's falling sick. over. Oh, yeah. he's that's fucking cool over. as shit, dude. That's like the only status they have. Beautiful. Can you change the color of the tiles for to show where the entangle is? Or no? No idea. Probably. Eventually, but, uh... we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Beautiful, dude. Nice. Fucking dog Onu putting in the work. Seventeen oh, yeah. damage and knocked him prone. Alrighty, so your turn. Yeah. Zombie number four, who is already by Brooks's side, Hello. is just gonna try and uh, do the old, do the old slam uh, Sixteen to hit. Just hits. Just hits. For a total of six points of bludgeoning damage, half because you're raging, so three points of bludgeoning oh. damage. And that is his turn. Elazrin. I wait. Which uh, wait, which one is which one is four? The one right to, to the right of. Uh, to the right, okay. Yeah. Uh, the the one to the north has disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. 
I will go like five foot to the right and 15 feet forward. So here? Yeah, and then I will chant divinity turn undead. Ooh. Big here we go. Here uh, I need go. wisdom saving throws, please, from everything that's within 30 feet that can hear or see me. Let's that's see. Undead. That is undead. 20, 30 for all of these. We, we don't see your cursor, so. That's everyone. That's all of them. The way you're standing, you can cool. get all of them. Holy fuck. Nice. That's what it was. And I'll kind of just, I'll reach up and just. So wisdom saves for all of them? Wisdom saves, please. Mm. DC 14. DC 14. Oh my Ten god. Rolls. Either really good or really bad. Real good. I'm about to say only like affect three of them. Hey, that three might save Kess's life. Yeah. He's failed every strength saving throw so far and I'm kinda of hyped mm. about it because they all got four fail. Trained. They all fail? Yeah, they have a minus Beautiful. two to a wisdom model oh to a wisdom. I so will wow. like fail. I will raise up my like holy symbol and just say Turn back from where you came, I'm dead fiends. Ooh. 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 Ooh, he gets and spicy I, with it. And I will kind of switch the grip and just kind of also, like, don't hit them. Not until they're far back away. I mean, the and four up there are stuck. Yeah, like, these four can't move, yeah. Yeah. They c I, as an action, they can spend their action to try escape from something that is not moving. So, turned okay. creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from me. It can't move towards anywhere within 30 feet of me it can't okay. take reactions it can only dash as an action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving if there's nowhere to move it can use the dodge action okay gotcha 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 all right is that your turn uh i will then bonus action Ooh. spiritual weapon hell yeah Big and i will ball. put it uh i can put it like 60 feet or is it 90 feet away from me 60 60 feet so i will put it like at the far know. end of the room where the zombies are going to be going is there like a little fucking like I can just weapon, weapon like, like i think it's just people and things there's no like yeah there's no like it might be in tokens for uh wait yo oh. basically fuck oh, it yeah, that's enough fuck it dude what do you want yeah. Uh, put it as far, as far back as into the room as I can get it, basically, because it's where I think they might be going. What's Two, the range? Three, four, five, six, six feet. Eight, nine, ten. Like sixty feet, we'll take it to the wall, like literally right here. Oh, I'll put it like ten but feet. Those forward. three, so like between these coffins, like like right yeah, here, basically right there. Yeah. Those those four to the north of me are all restrained, though. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but it's still like okay. okay. Roughly going to be going in that area eventually, and that's a dash, anyways. So. Alrighty. If they get out. Yeah. Is that your turn? Uh, that will then be my turn. It's now Jax's turn. What does Jax do, uh, Ethan? I mean, Lazarin said not to damage them. So he's going to move up behind Cass. But not until they're far away. Move up behind Cass? So like here? He's going to pull out his magical spider contraption. Okay. And cast Cure Wounds on Cass. All right. Hell yeah. Uh, it's an alright roll. Uh, eight points of healing. Thank you. There you go. Beautiful. Is that Jax's turn? Yeah. Alright. So, number 10, who is turned, uh, is going to just uh, dash like away, like as far as you can go. That's there. That is his turn. Dagon. Just climbs back into the sarcophagus. <laughs> This makes it tricky. So Elazarin said not to hurt them. We yes. hurt him. Fuck. I don't have much I can do. There is All one I prone, is though. Things. There's one I what? Prone. prone. Yeah. Problem is the thing I want to do. <laughs> Definitely get more than... Hold on. Let me see. So I'm the orange token, right? Yes, yes you are over here. This, this guy. Okay, let me count something. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Okay. I, because that one's far away. I can use my feline agility to double my movement speed and get to that one at the back and just be one square behind it. Um, Yeah, they can't take reactions, so you can just go straight across pretty much and you just fucking... Yeah. yeah. And... Hey, you want to be here? Yeah. Oh, I 
will Move this up a little bit so that stream can see properly. There we go. Just try and because this way, if I ruin the charm this way, he's far away from everyone now. Mm -hmm. So I'll try and stab him with my spear. Trying to turn your guy so that he actually looks at. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Stab Fuck. him with the spear. Hold alt. That's not that great. Uh, um, that's a twelve to hit. That hits. Yay, because they're squishy. Mm -hmm. Uh, spear is d six. I rolled max squishy. damage, so nine points of piercing damage. That spear is blessed. Right, nine points it does of piercing good damage. damage every yeah. time. All right. Uh, does that break the turn undead? Like when they get damaged? That, when work? they yeah. when they get damaged, it does break. Okay, so yeah. this one is no that's... longer no longer running away in fear and just turns yeah. to you, Diagon, and just yeah. That's why I went for the one far away. Give the others a chance to run. Okay. Um, and then Starts bonus the action, I'll just go for an unarmed strike, just a kick, because I don't want to bamf out the arms yet. Okay. Um. So for the unarmed strike, natural twenty. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, what's the, what's the um, minimum amount of damage you can do here? The minimum amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, it's a D four plus three, so oh, four eight. four damage. Five. Or, so five, sorry, five damage was... because of the crit. Is yeah. The max, so right? you the just you do. kick it and can I kick its head off? Sure. Pop, you fucking kick. just do a high kick and you kick its head clean off and it just smacks against oh the, the back wall yeah. as the, the body crumbles of this. Uh... Ill menu. Kill, Ill menu. Kill oh, I was hoping it do a little effect. Yeah, I mean, it's mm. early access, so maybe, maybe I know, one day. I know, I know. Right? That's terrifying. Yeah. GM. Yeah. Kill, kill creature. Yeah, kill Alrighty. Creature. <gasps> so Wait, that's my turn. That to us. Because that was all my movement and action and a bonus action. Yeah. Very good. So that's zombie number 10. Dealt with. Nine to go, boys. Hey. Zombie number Juan. And I didn't ruin the turn undead. Why is there a Mexican zombie? Is uh, going to... He's entangled. So yep. he's going to be forced to try and break out because that's all he can do. Uh, because he wants to run save, away. Duke? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, natural 2 is not going to cut it. Nope. Uh, zombie number 2 and 3 are both here and they all have their turns. So they're all going to try and break out. Ooh, natural 16. Plus one. Yeah, that, that breaks up. So number two. Is this number two? Oh, this is number two, right? Yes. He breaks out. Uh, that was his action. And it's just going to... Yeah. Number three. Natural nine. So that's not going to cut it. So he's still stuck. Bop. Bop. Hawthorn. That's you, Belle. Um, <laughs> uh, Hawthorn's Ooh. not going to do anything. The Hawthorne's just gonna sit there idly, hanging out. Yeah. Okay. Just vibe. Brooks. Okay, well, this is where things get difficult. Mm hmm. Lazarin has said not to hurt them. Correct. Did not turn them until they're far away, is what I fully said. Was don't hurt them until they are far away. Okay. So make of that what you will. <laughs> God damn it, why have you... That's why Fuck I went for it. the one that was far away. Fuck it, I'm gonna step back from these and I don't care if they swing at me. They uh, don't they get reactions. reactions. They, they don't get reactions, reactions, so they will oh, not. perfect. So you're just gonna uh, step back? So I'm gonna step down, I'm gonna step... Uh, I'm gonna move to the west until I'm next to that guy. And I'm gonna fucking try and hand axe him in the brain. Okay. Oh yeah, because he's knocked down. No, oh, I'm gonna go. For the, I'm gonna go to the west first. Oh, not the one on the floor. Okay. So the that's one, like, a natural right twenty ahead of you now, like the oh. one like above. Kes. The yes. one that's north of of. Uh, yes. Yeah. So it's zombie number six. So that's six, a natural twenty. Yeah. Natural twenty. Hey. Uh, which will be little hits? Yeah. It's cocked. That's shit. But <laughs> that's two, cocked and that's shit. Four. Uh, <laughs> Seven. Nine points of slashing damage. Nine points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a key point to flurry blows. Uh, first attack, same guy. Uh, it's a fucking natural 15. Hits. Uh, for another uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Mm, uh, still up, but barely. Okay. Well, the one on the ground next to me is rough as well, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Fuck it. I'm just gonna stamp on the head of the one next to me. 
Okay. Uh, natural 17. That hits. Squishes with advantage, but uh, not, not with advantage. Why not? Uh, natural 19. Full Still back hits. for blood style. Head squishy, Fuck, yeah. that's better. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, you just cave in this dude's head. He's gone. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, that's my turn. Mm. I'll move around to the other side of the one that I was chanking with my hand axe. So, like this side? Yeah. Was it alt you said, Duke? <laughs> it's not alt. There we go. That works. Um, okay. Cool. Is it your turn? That's my turn. Zombie number five, who is, I believe, this guy. Oh, just real quick. The the entangled area counts as difficult terrain. So the first zombie that escaped from the entangled probably wouldn't... He wouldn't have made it quite as far, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Uh, number five uh, is going to try and run. Sees a bunch of, like, threats here, so he's just going to... That's yeah into the difficult terrain. Yeah, I mean zombies are stupid. They don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Yeah. Obviously, we we can't visualize it, but just yeah, that that there's that twenty foot by twenty foot. Uh, I'm gonna cast Shadow Blade and attack the one that Brooks attacked. Okay, the one like in between you and Brooks. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Um. I'm just checking what my... Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. I got advantage, right? Yeah. You're yeah. flanking, yes. Cool. Um, that is 17. Intention, but it 17? Yep. Yes. Uh, and it's... Shadow Bouliard. 2d8. 2d8. Damage? 8. I think. 2d8. It's a fucking cool spell. There's a reason why Elias yeah. used it. Uh, it's that six, uh, psychic damage. Oh, it's psychic. Ooh. Yeah. It's gone. Oh. It ceased to exist as you just, yeah. with your shadow blade, just shove it straight, like, like, under, like, straight in the back of the head, just <laughs> walking dead style, just oh, popping zombie zombies brains. in the head. Hell yeah. I'm here for it. Anything else? Uh, no. But the Shadow Blade does now have the symbol of Sehanin on the pommel. Ooh, okay. Very cool. Alright, zombie number eight. Um, this fella. Is... was also entangled. He was. Yes, was yes, he was. Yeah. So he's gonna have to try and break out first. Natural one. No, he's gonna stay put. Uh, number nine. Is this guy, I believe? Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna fucking run because he's turned. Um, he's running away from you, Kes, uh, and Jax as well. Jax. You both uh, have a chance to do an attack opportunity if you so please. With Elazarin's, don't hit him when they're close in in mind. Kes takes it, Jax will. If Kes doesn't, then Jax will. Can I can I can I hit it with the shadow blade? Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm gonna do that. A melee weapon while the spell's yeah. up. Do I also get two weapon fighting? fighting no. If it's attack opportunity, no, it's just, it's just one, you get one swing. Just whoosh, okay. quick, quick swing as he's trying to run away from you. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Seventeen to hit again. That hits. Is Jax okay. like, seeing this? Will Jackson also take the attack since Kess is doing yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to use is... his thunder gauntlets as well on his armor. Oh. Uh, five, six, seven. Uh, seven points of psychic damage. And it will also do the Genie's Wrath of Thunder, so plus two Thunder. Okay, don't fuck me. <laughs> and what does Jax do? Gonna, they hadn't drawn a weapon, so he's gonna just punch it with his uh, armored gauntlets. Okay. Uh, for a fucking twenty-four to hit. Yeah. This is yeah. the highest this man has ever rolled. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, for eleven points. Of uh, Man. thunder damage. Yeah, no, like this guy doesn't even get to go away. You just both like simultaneously nice. that was stab him in the back with shadow nice. blade as Jax just rocks him on the back of the head with his gauntlet. Nice. A hole through him. It just, yeah, no, it's it's gone. It's gone. It's like it's... the the uh, DDD hammer. Oh, like he oh goes to punch and like a little rocket thruster just goes <laughs> and like <laughs> masses. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, Davian, it's your turn. 
Uh, I will. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to shoot. I think it was zombie number eight. Uh, yes, I'm going to shoot zombie number eight, who is restrained, so I have advantage. Correct. I believe so. Uh, I don't know. Like a you melee attack from sure. ranged. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the question actually. Yeah. Uh, let me It'll see. It'll say on the spell. Let me have a look. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. There that's it. Cool. Then yes. Um. Above twelve. Let me just make sure. Let me just jump to the thing. Restrain oh. creature speed becomes zero. Attack rolls have advantage. Yep. There you go. With a 17 to hit. That hits. It's just a d8 plus three. So four points of damage, of course. And then <laughs> Onu is going to do a little a little loop to build up speed. He's going to run five feet back and do a U-turn and then sprint full force Shrrr. at him. With a oh two natural thirteens plus yes whatever so that definitely hits. How much damage uh, did your arrow do? Just to quickly minimum four points of piercing damage. Minimum. Okay okay okay. I missed that. Uh, and Onu does. Let me just get the thing up so I don't get this wrong. D eight plus D six plus four, uh, which is fourteen points of <laughs> slashing damage. Fucking Onu a beast. And he must make a strength saving throw. Natural three, so this guy also just and he gets not restrained, wrong. just fucking. Oh, he's fucked now because he's got zero <laughs> movement to get up. Yeah, so he's just oh! forever prone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you can. I I assume you can make the. Do you have dis? If you're prone, do you have disadvantage on strength checks? No. Uh, I I think it's just like dex saving throws or something, right? Or is it? I think dex. I think, dex is, I think saving throws you auto fail. Or at least you have disadvantage. No, no disadvantage um, on dex. Is that your turn, okay. Davian? Uh, yeah, that's everything. Oh, that's nifty. I can just like highlight a little highlight with zombie. This nice, oh, dude. Look nice. at that. Boom. All right, this guy not restrained. Gonna run away. It's gonna fuck off. Yeah. Oh, one. And that's that. <laughs> really, Elazrin. I have a question. Hello. I probably have an a answer. A five foot radius. Uh, like cylinder, so cylinder, width, mm -hmm. right? So it'd be just a five foot circle, like yeah, five foot radius circle. How? What would that hit? Would that be Can every hit... square around your character, basically? Yeah. So a five foot radius equals yeah. a fifteen a foot, foot square, diameter. right? Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, essentially. So if I put kind it on of... the middle zombie, would it hit the two next to it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I the, will. This line, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I will cast Moonbeam. Ooh. On okay. the middle one. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm getting flashbacks to the Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's uh, was that again? Uh, they don't do it until uh, the creature the next... enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So okay. on, right. on a turn. On a turn, so it would also trigger. So they make it. Yeah. it. Does it? Does it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, I didn't know what the rule for that was. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Moonbeams are weird. Uh, eight. Yes, yeah, I say eight. Eight fails. Eight. I mean, they all fail because all three of them are in it. So, I mean, they have to make it. Um, because it's... that's a rule for them. No, they all fail. They all fail? Cool. They all fail. They will take 2d10 radiant damage. Ooh. Jesus. Radiant, you say? Radiant. Goodbye. All their dead as fuck. That is... Just don't do what I did. Roll a one or two. Uh... I almost did that. It, that is uh, 10 points of damage. I rolled a 9 and a 1. Um, doubles, because they are very oh. weak So they take 20 damage, points of damage. Which just evaporates all three oh, of them. Oh, so many oh. of them! Uh, go. They got fucking space lasers oh. into dust. They just all Aladrin all has just the biggest fucking erection. <laughs> just like... <laughs> No, uh, he's um, gonna be walking off later. Yeah, exactly. Oh my um, I will then use my spiritual weapon. Can you find it? It's just out of the range of the one that's prone. <laughs> Motherfucker. I will move it to be next to that other one that's there. By the, the coffin? coffin? Yeah, by the coffin, yeah. And I'll swing at it. Everything seems to be far enough away now. I will also warn my my, my friends uh, don't, don't get into that light. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking moonbeam is just like vibing over there. Good call. Step into Good that call. light. Dude, yeah, there's, a f there's just like a 20 foot square of vines. 
It's like, Wait. oh my god, it's like that bit in Harry Potter when it they're is. all stuck in the yeah. fucking yeah. vines and then the devil's yeah. yeah. <laughs> but instead it's the moon and the vines are still there and everything just sucks for mm -hmm. everyone. 16 to hit. That hits. Uh, uh, that does 9 points of damage. 9 points of damage. It's radiant too, right? No, it's force. Force, force damage. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, that is matter triple kill, Jax. Oh. Uh, m -m 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 Monster kill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess he'll go over to the one that's prone and just fucking gauntlet it in the face. Humiliation. <laughs> Finish. Which is literally for when you when you gauntlet someone in Quake. Oh my god, it is. Let's get it. Advantage, because it's prone. Uh, fucking 13. That hits? Fuck yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all. AC's 12. Mm -hmm. Is he number. Was he number I rolled two, a or? 7 and a 3, so. Can't see because it's a fucking zombie. That's number 8, right? Uh, Too many aim plates. Be... Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, 10 points in? of thunder damage. How many? 10. He dead. Gone. Dude, this Jax is fucking is great. Very, like, oh, I love it. I love it. This is great, dude. This is so I good. love just smashing shitters in D&D. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is pretty fun just to smash shitters. I'm worried yeah. there's going to be a big zombie after this because this feels too chill. Flesh golem. It's right. fine. Everything lost. Ages. Anything else yeah, Jax wants to do? Nah. It's his turn. Daigon. Uh, two zombies still up. One next to the yep. spiritual weapon. One Five, all the way on 10, the east side of the room. Okay, I can move in an L shape and get to that zombie by the spiritual weapon, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, Go to his sure. other side. And also hit him with my spear. Go for it. Uh, 18. That hits. Uh, almost max damage again. Uh, hey, eight, eight points of piercing. Eight points of piercing? Yeah, this guy's yep. also gone. Bam! Leaving only... This fella. And I'm not in the entangle or the moon lakes. It's to the right of the spiritual. No, it's to the right. right. So I'm not yeah. there yet. Okay. It, cool. It's cool. like two squares uh, from the left. For the sake of one. this, hold on. So you can share an indicator. Right it's like it's yeah. centered it's around. It's centered this on that coffin. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then I will stay where I am. Enough people. Someone will find a way to deal with the last bitch before I rush over there and waste a key point. So I'll just chill here. Okay. Say so turn. Yep. Hawthorne. James, don't even fucking joke about that shit. Don't even. <laughs> um. Uh. Of course, the one is gonna fly 40 feet towards the one that's left. 40 feet. Uh. He'll get like here. Cool, and then shoot it. Alright, go for it. Ooh, natural 20. Oh. Guys, we are. Okay. We're so fucking good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's always during like our day off just for fun yeah. fights yeah. like this it's never gonna yeah. be during like an end of the oh, story yeah. arc no. big bad it's just gonna be like oh not. random so zombies the drama? Smash, smash, come on smash. okay uh make a con save three roll, like threes three yeah. he's unconscious and poisoned and he took two piercing damage uh, he's not poisoned but uh, okay but he's unconscious he's unconscious <laughs> he is unconscious <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is he Man. ever really conscious? Yeah, I feel kind of <laughs> you know, weird. Today. Do you ever just I mean, feel for the bad? This will say that uh, we go out of. Oh, I just mode moved my moonbeam last... over to him. I run over. <laughs> I don't care I if end... I get hit by the moonbeam. I run oh. over and stamp on his head. Hang on. If 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 I see Brooks running over to stamp on his brain, mm -hmm. I'm not going to move my moonbeam. Okay. If Brooks, I'll end if... concentration on the vines though. All right. So Brooks is going. Um... <laughs> stamp yeah. on his head. Make an attack with advantage because he's unconscious. And also, I this is that auto crit? That's an auto crit, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a natural seventeen. It's so you auto crit. He's fucking dead. Okay, he's, he's dead fucking dead. dead. <laughs> Let me roll the damage because it's fucking dead. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, Hell yeah, brother. Nine points. Yeah, dead. Cool. Bloody dead. Um, all right. You see, as all these zombies fall. From out of mm. all the corpses at the same time comes this like green slither of energy uh, that kind oh, of like gathers it. in the center of the room and forms a ball and just shoots past all of you back up the stairs from whence you came. Uh, uh I think we, we, should, we should follow that. Yeah, I'm following it. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's right. go. I'm gone. 
Are you uh, all like, collectively as a group following that? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. How long would it take us to get there to follow it, <laughs> time-wise? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I got two spells up that I can move. I could do... So, <laughs> just <laughs> don't want to waste them. I mean, your spiritual weapon will be gone before we get anywhere, because it's only like 15 feet, right? I mean, it can move 20 feet <laughs> per turn. It's like a minute? Yeah, I can move the moonbeam 60 feet per turn. <laughs> Um, man, are you really gonna make me figure this out? <laughs> I mean, okay, realistically, I can we run up to where it is within a minute? Yes. yes, you can. Yes, you can. Spiritual yes, you can. weapon, I don't yeah. mind dropping. Like that can go, but the moonbeam, I kind of, I want to fire, move my moonbeam ahead of us, mm -hmm. so it's ahead of us at all times, and then okay. just be like following up. Sure. For sure. This minute. Sure. Just because I fucking use a second spell, second sure. level spell on that uh, channel. Yeah, fine, keep whatever. It. <laughs> Spiritual weapon wouldn't keep okay. it. Okay, so you all follow sure. this, yeah, like, this, like, this like this okay. like orb of green energy, and it goes, passes through the door across from the door that you entered. So like, oh. uh, if you're from like your point of entry, you went to the left to go into this yeah. room. This is going to like the opposite door for you now, so like the right hand side, <laughs> like the eastern okay. door. Uh, it just phases through that door. Well, oh God. I picture as like you know in um, Crystal Maze when they're going to the next challenge. Yeah. Yes. And there's dramatic music playing and they're all running in line. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna or Fort get... Boyard. I'm gonna get oh Hawthorne to go invisible and then open the door just enough for him to go in and tell me what he sees. Can you and Hawthorne like telepathically? Yes, you can, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, all I see is an altar and this like green thing kind of floating above it. I will. I will open the door. <laughs> Once the door is fully open, I'll just be like, "Kiss, get out the way." Okay, I will. Like, I just move my out. fucking moonbeam onto the altar. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the sake of this, that was what the ritual needed. <laughs> oh fuck! Just powers it up by as twenty. You, as you like enter this room, it is a similar size room as this: coffins and sarcophaguses <laughs> uh, spread around, uh, but in the middle, a large altar. Once with pictures and symbols of arrows, but now since defaced, Ooh. depicting the imagery of a cut-off hand with an eye in the middle. Like an eye in the you palm. Um, but Lazarin, you're religious. I am very religious. Make me a religion check. A religion check? Hell yeah, I'll do that. I don't really win these days. Fucking better. Why else are we keeping you? Uh, 14. 14? You know that this is the symbol of Vecna, a oh, pretty no! well known lich uh, oh, no. that is on a pursuit of godhood. Uh, you know but also a go to semi deity, a uh, powerful being for necromancers to uh, get, like, get their power from. Fantastic news. Even more reason that my boom is right on out. <laughs> Okay, Moonbeam He's like moves onto the, the altar. I don't think Moonbeam yeah. damages structures and property, right? It's just creatures. creatures. Just creatures. Yeah, All right. Just creatures. As you just move the Moonbeam in the middle of the room, to so like, you kind of see this like cloud of, of dark smoke appear, and it just moves to the left of the Moonbeam as another shape appears before you. Uh, let me just quickly. Uh oh. Oh, spaghetti oh. Oh, oh, This figure, uh, like, using the cloud of smoke to, kind of mm -hmm. to appear here. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, wizard! And you're all kind of... Wonderful wizard. ...gathered at the door here on Sun Poons. Um, Where, dog? Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll let's relax. Um, what you see is... A, a woman, long gray hair, one eye removed from its socket, the other eye uh. bright blue, wearing black robes, but the arms are bare, and, on, and one arm looks normal and human, the other arm dry, black, and vaguely scaly. Ooh. She looks at you all. How dare you disrupt my rituals? Chosen a fitting place to die, though. I would like y'all to roll initiative again. 
Oh, oh my god. I press a fucking out. Oh, why do I keep forgetting to vision bless people? Fuck! <laughs> oh, why do I keep rolling like shit for initiative? How... I rolled better this time. Oh, Gosh, how long have I got? Good. I did not. How long have I got on my like moon boom? How long? I mean, it took boom? you like it took you like half a, half a minute to get to this room. So I've got I've got five rounds of it. Thank you. One, two, three. Cool. Hold. How long did you say it took? Like half a minute. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What are the odds we can finish this fight right. in half an hour? <laughs> 20 oh, plus. Anyone? Nope. No? No, oh, God. 15 to 20? 16. Uh, 18. 18? Was that Brooks? For uh, Brooks, not Jax. Yeah, I said. 16, yeah. Diagon? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fifth, uh, 10 to 15? 13. 12. 11 for Jax. 13, uh, 12, 11. 10 for me. Wait, so 13 for Kess? Yep. 12 for Davian? Did we leave Siren upstairs? 11 yep. for Jax? Uh, yes. And for Lazarin? Is that everybody? Um, yes. And oh, 7 Hawthorne. for Hawthorne. Oh, Hawthorne, right. Okay. Three. Let's me just quickly get this map situated and all that. Uh, hold. Hawthorne's invisible though, right? Yep. Hawthorne is invisible, but I still want to add his fucking token. Um, then he'll be visible. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sorry, that was a shitty joke. You're really annoying today. I hate you. Um, I love you too, Dad. Up. Add... Doggo. There we go. Oh, no. Cool. So I will say that Hawthorne is just kind of like vibing here. All right. So, initiative. We first have... Uh, Brooks. Oh. Brooks. Oh, is it me? Hold. I'm still doing the fucking... Oh, my God. Here we go. Uh, Daigon. I go not so last this time. Yes. For speedy cat. Um, it takes a while in combat. Hmm. Leg fast, brain not. Brain. Leg fast, brain yes. slow. A oh my god. Oh my, is Dude, he dead last? She it's rolled be... like shit. She's gonna, she's not gonna get a turn. I mean, technically, it's your shim would Oh. Oh, news last. <laughs> Yeah, Onu's on my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Boom. Let's Brooks, go. You're first. What do you want to do? Let's okay. finish her before she gets uh, a turn, guys. Let's fucking go. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fuck it. I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, bonus action, rage. Okay. Spicy move. Uh, and then I'm going to throw one of my fragmentation grenades. Oh, yeah, because you're first. Shit. We're not up in her face yet. Good shout. Okay. Good shout. Good move. The building comes down. The building comes down. Uh, I believe that it means that she meets you. Did you look him up on Dini Beyond? The fragmentation uh, grenades? No, not yet. Oh. I will do. Dude, fucking grenade explodes and like just the portion of the ceiling above collapses and like two priests just like tumble <laughs> down. Okay. Um, uh, to DC 15. DC deck 16 save. deck save. DC 16? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 15, sorry. 15. 15. I uh, I rolled I a 19, so she makes the save. Okay, so she takes half damage. Mm -hmm. I think it's 5d6. Yeah. Oh! Roll high. It's pretty fucking good! Uh, 17 total. So, half to... 18. Uh, yes. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I she kind of my... like manages to duck out of the way, just kind of like, Ugh! but not before um, part of her like back gets caught in the blast, and some of the like shrapnel from the grenade kind of cuts and pierces her uh, her skin. And then I'm going to move my full movement as far as I can, forty foot, to try and get towards it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, fuck it. You're there? That's my turn. Okie dokie. Dagon. Fuck this bitch. You muted, Laura. 
sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> run run up and just get on the other side of Brooks. If I can do that, I have 40 feet of movement. I can make it by going a diagonal line. Just, yeah, just. Yeah, yep. And then I'm going to bonus action, bamf out my spectral panther arms and spend a key point. So she has to roll a save. She has to roll a uh, dex save. Is it all enemies or all creatures? Uh, each creature of my choice. Ah. So just her. 16. For now. Uh, she makes it. False. Okay. <laughs> um, and then as I bamf out the arms, I just go for like a like a big like kind of like jabby punch to her solar plexus. Okay. With my regular arms while the spectral ones are bamfing out. Go for it. Fuck! Nope, that's a natural two. So that's a seven. Doesn't hit. She manages to kind you're of just like flanking. move her body. Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're flanking. flanking. She had advantage. <gasps> True. Good catch. No, it went from a two to a three. So I tried. Yeah, still <laughs> tried. So she manages to kind of just like move to the side and you just jab just just ever so slightly. Right. Misses. Brooks isn't smart enough to flank. Uh, that's is. my movement. All right. Kess. Uh, I'm going to move 30 feet towards the necromancer. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Like here. Okay. Does this count as dim lighting? No, this is pretty brightly lit. Nah, damn. Never mind. Okay. I'm going to throw my shadow blade out. You're going to throw your shadow blade? Hell yeah. Yeah. Make an attack. Ooh, nice. Uh, that was a 17 to hit. That hits. Oh, fuck. fuck. Uh -oh. Ooh, yay. Um, that was, what is it? Six plus, yeah, nine. Why was that hard to add up? Uh, nine psychic and two thunder. Nine psychic, two thunder, so 11 points of damage total. Yeah, not That's bad. It. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Davian. Uh, I'm going to, dude, I mean, Onu hasn't let me down yet. True. Charge. Charge. So full movement is 40 feet, so hopefully that, that can make it. 10, 20, 30, 35. Okay. And uh, maul. Hell yeah. Oh, which is, I think, a 16 to hit. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, my I, I Okay, spell attack modifier, which is... 15 to hit. 15 just hits. Yeah. Okay. And a D8 plus a D6. That's a it's a lot of damage. That's literally me shooting it with a longbow and hunter's mark. Yeah. Fifteen? No. Sixteen points of slashing damage. Fucking hell! Ono is fucking shredding, dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah. As much as I miss the shoebill stork, I also <laughs> like maybe we keep him like this. <laughs> Sixteen points of slashing damage and a strength saving throw, please. Natural nineteen. Oh, okay. Not knocked prone, but getting fucked. Yeah, good shit. Is that your turn? Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to Hunter's Mark. Very good. Okay. Ooh, la, la. Then we'll go on to Jax. But Ethan is AFK. All right, we're not going on to Jax. Oh. <laughs> uh, Elazar, you can go first. Um... Is there a place I can move my moonbeam that only hits the necromancer? Like, dangling up to the right, would that do it? Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. I will put my moonbeam there. Okay. Con save? Wis oh, yeah, con save. Don't mind if I say wisdom save. Uh, 18. Makes it so it takes half damage. Uh, 15 points damage, half. 50, is that already half or no? No, 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 okay. 15. And then so seven. Half, but... And I would like to move... Kind of... Can I move to the altar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, it was Jack's turn, but you were AFK real quick, Ethan, yeah, so... Sorry, I had to do a thing. Uh, Jax is going to cast Magic Missile. Um, yeah. Nice. 
possible. Absolutely. Um, What's the range on that? That's, that's that's like well within range. Uh, 120 range. feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. For 10 points of force damage. Ooh. And he's going to stay where he is. But as a bonus action, he's going to use a defensive field as part of his armor and gain three temporary hit points. Oh, okay, cool. All right, uh, Elijah had a turn. Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne will fly forward 40 feet, or yeah, about 40 feet, like around about, yeah, yeah, uh, and then shoot it. Okay. Shoot. Uh... What was the saving throw on that again? Uh, 10. Con, con, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes it. Uh, that's fucking 17 to hit. Anyway. That does, that does hit. And yeah. one piercing damage. Hell nice, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. Every okay. damage so counts. Useful. Yeah, dude. It is now the necromancer's turn. Oh, you make sure you're saving her. Con save, right? True. Uh, 15? Uh, just makes it. Okay. Takes uh, 13 ah. points of damage. So, how much? Six. 13! Alright. So, half to six. Yes. Um, she is going to. Um, okay. I know what she's going to do. Thank you. She is going to look around her. See Daigon, see Brooks, see Onu. Uh -oh. And decides, looks at you, Brooks. You seem like the biggest three. I don't know what you're Compliment. talking about. Compliment. And is going to attempt to put her hand on your face. Oh, please tell me this isn't what I think it is. I hit you with caress? a <laughs> third level vampiric touch. Okay. okay. Ooh. okay. That's still nasty, though. Still bad, but not that's as bad. A, as that's, what I was I'm pretty sure that's a lot of damage. Uh, that's it 18 is. to hit. Yeah, that hits. Big boy. Damage. And it's about to heal, and it will heal from <clears throat> half of that damage, or whatever it is. It's going to get healed. Yeah, it's going to get healed. Are you raging? Uh, did you take oh, necrotic. 14 necrotic damage? Yikes. Okay. And she heals for half of that. So seven. I'm still okay. There we go. I'm still um, standing. And that is her turn. Okay. It is now your turn, Brooks. Get her back. Get her back. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> fucking hit her with the hand axe. Okay. Uh, that is a... Uh, 15 to hit. Just hits. Oh, fuck for that. Hey. You have advantage, right? Because you're flanking with... Um, oh. Second. Nah, it's better. But... <clears throat> it could have uh, been that 20 or so. Yeah. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Very good. So that's a healing gun. Uh, I'm going to spend a key point to flurry of blows. Ooh. I'm going to roll again. Let's go. Uh, natural 15. Yeah, that hits. For another 8 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking head put her in a stupid face. <laughs> natural 20. Ooh, yeah. 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 Natural 20 headbutt. Max damage. It's gonna break oh off like a nose. Four, 8, oh. 11, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. 13 Fuck points yeah, of bludgeoning damage. Very good. Holy shit, that was a good turn. Fucking nose. That was a good turn. Is that um, your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. Fuck this bitch. Alright. Dagon. I'm gonna... Similar, we're just gonna just wail on her. Because I have six limbs. So, Wait, if I do an attack action and then a flurry of blows, it's like in this pair. So, it'd be like punch, punch, punch with each set of limbs. Hell yeah. So, and I get advantage because of flanking? Yes. Yep. So, for the first attack with my regular arms, that's a 19 to hit. That hits. A -E -E. That rolled like shit. Four points of bludgeoning damage from the first hit. Okay. And now with the spectral arms, so my flurry of blows, the first one is a natural 20. Nice. Fucking <laughs> out, boys. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Let me double check which dice on the spectral fists. Oh, Arms the astral soul. Throw in Still, three attacks a turn okay. with advantage, so, you guaranteed. Um, she takes. Oh, I will. Not really. So then, nine points of force yeah, damage. What was that, uh, Laura? Koiba nine and points of, nerds. Sorry, nine points of force damage. Nine points of force damage. Fuck yeah. And then the last of the flurry of blows. Oh, I rolled the same number on both dice, and it sucks. That's a nine to hit. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. Awesome. Well, at least we rolled the crit on the other one, so it was like they both hit. Kind true, of. true, true, true. Almost. Uh, that that's my yep, and I regain my feline agility because I spent a turn not moving. There you go. Oh yes. All right. Yes, turn. I'm gonna move forward the last fifteen feet to get in melee. Uh, Shadow blade reappears in my hand, and I'm swinging with it. Hell yeah, go for it. You are technically not flanking with anyone. Yes, fine. But... Um. 30, 20. That hits. Nine psychic damage and Nine two psychic. thunder. All right. Very good. Anything else? Uh, Die. No, that's it. I think. Yes. Okay. That's it. Davian. Uh... I mean, I shoot and Onu attacks. Mm -hmm. So I shall shoot first. That is a, tw a dirty 20 that hits. to hit mm -hmm. for a d6 and a d8 plus 3. 12 points of piercing damage. All right. And Onu all, all, plus my spell DC is spell attack. Is a 14 to hit for Onu? Just misses. Okay. Unfortunately. No problem. Um. <clears throat> As your arrow impacts the woman in her upper torso, she kind of like naturally steps, steps back to kind of like taking the blow. And because of that, Onu like starts snapping at her ankles, but she just manages to like move out of the way of that. Gosh, gotcha, out of the way, and I will run up uh, to alongside a Lazarin. Okay. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> Jax. It's you, Ethan. Hello. Uh, Jax is going to move as far forward as he can towards her. Uh, how much movement does Jax have? Feet. Sorry? 30 feet. This is as close as he's going to get. Okay, um, he, uh, he's going to save his last spell slot and use Frostbite, so constitution saving throw, please. Um, 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 con 12. That is a fail. Oh. So, she takes... Four points of cold damage. Okay. And um, if it makes, uh, if she makes a weapon attack roll um, in its next turn, uh, it has disadvantage. Okie dokie. And yeah, that's all he's going to do. Sounds good. Uh, Elazrin. Hmm. What to do, what to do. It'll, it'll be an action to like investigate this altar, won't it? Yes. Deal. Ah, uh, mm hmm. Uh, I will uh, use guiding bolt on her. Okay. Make an attack. Big bog. Ten's not gonna do it. 10? No, yeah. unfortunately, the guiding bolt just slams into the wall behind her and just like some of the like part of the wall starts to crack a little bit because of the sheer impact of the bolt. But... Love advantage to hit the wall though. Mm. Yeah, true. Uh... The irony of guiding bolt <laughs> missing. I know, right? Uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. All right. Oh, Hawthorne? Anything else? Uh, shoot again. Go for it. Oh. 
Put her to sleep. That doesn't hit. That's what is your roll? <laughs> roll nine. No. <laughs> no. What, what, what is Hawthorne's attack? Uh, he shoots a bow. He shoots a long bow. He has like another one where you can do a similar thing bow. to like a long sword, but. It's I was going to say a long bow, but his eye is just like. Yeah, well, it's a short bow. It's a short bow. Mm. Technically, a short bow, mechanically, a long bow. Yeah. All right. Um. The necromancer's turn. Con save, please. He's gonna... Con save? Ooh. Right. Uh, natural 19. Yeah, makes it. Uh, I'm running this and this each time. Uh, that's 11, so half to 5. 11, half to 5, yes. She's gonna... Surrender. She's gonna look around and again look at Brooks. Care to join me in the afterlife? Not particularly. And is going to cast Blight. Oh boy. Blight! <laughs> yes. Goodbye, my lover. Um, which is, I believe, a constitution saving throw. Oh, I... Eh. I don't like it. Uh, 17. 17 makes it, so I think you take oh, half fuck. damage. Um... Yeah, half as much on successful save. Okay. Might still put me down. Yeah, Blight's a very powerful spell. Mm -hmm. Blight's strong. Blight's strong. I have a good health pool, but I'm just over half. And I don't get resistance to this. Mm -hmm. Oh! Dutch could roll really bad. Or he could not. Doesn't look unhappy. 42, half to 21. Okay. That's exactly how many hit points you I'm had. I'm not there. dead, but I am unconscious. Yeah, that's exactly how many hit points you had. So no, you go unconscious. Um. Uh, status. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's so sad. <laughs> uh. um, and that is going to be her turn. Uh, it is now your turn, Brooks. Death save, please. Oh, oh God! No! That's a fail. That's uh -oh. Okay. It's your first failed death save. Dagon. If I just like stay within the five but go around to be next to Brooks, I don't incur opportunity attack, right? Because I'm not leaving her melee. I'm just uh, changing angle. But you will enter the fucking. You'll be uh, Moonbeam. Uh, moonbeam. That's true. You've got the movement to go around. I do. You'd leave her range. Incur... But she does you know have what? disadvantage on a melee attack. And you know what? She's a magic user. I don't no, think she, she looks particularly... You know what? She doesn't look particularly physical. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to move around the other way. He just moved like in an L again to Brooks. Okay. Uh, she's just, just going to try and fucking take a spring at you with her fists. Uh, the 12 to hit. Misses. There you go. Uh, and she then a great I, hold. I will use my action to feed Brooks a healing potion. Okay. Oh, I have to roll that, don't I? Um, hold mm, on. Yes. Hold. 34 plus 2? Yeah, 8 points of healing to Brooks. Ooh, okay. Mm. There you go. Um, a lot of, like, no longer unconscious, but still prone, however. Yep. Yeah. That's my cool. turn, because if I was smart, I would have used my bonus action first before moving, but I didn't, so that's my turn. All right. Kess. You can't bonus um, action attack unless you attack. If I move around, can I be flanking with Odo? <laughs> You'll be um, in Moonbeam. You'll be in the Moonbeam. Oh shit, never mind then. I'm gonna attack with Shadow Blade. You guys are so welcome. You guys. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Why are you gonna ruin All everything? Why are you gonna bring, bring the moon moon into with this? me? Uh, hey, that was a before. 20 something to hit. That hits. 24. Uh, My favorite number, 20 something. 20 Just something. <laughs> Just after something 20. Oh, nice. Uh, that's 12 psychic damage. And then using damage. two weapon fighting, I'm going to attack with my bonus action with my dagger. Go for it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's it gone? Where's it not there? For some reason, it, it got rid of my dagger. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Um, Dutch, if you haven't seen chat, I have to leave in 15 minutes, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah. Just so you know. If fights That's... still go in, I'll just leave and you can keep playing. She'll be dead. 
18. Okay. 18 to hit. That hits. I just saved your life, Rick. And. Ooh. For now. I think we'll go in the dice tray. Uh. Five. No, six. Six. Slashing damage. Yep. Alrighty. And two thunder. And two thunder? Yep. Alright. Say turn? Yep. Davian. Okay. I, well, I'll, I'll take a step so I'm not behind, like, Elazarin, so I can shoot kind of more cleanly. In fact, I'll move around him to the left side of him. And then I will uh, shoot with my longbow. What roll your attack? Oh, it's good. Uh, I think, wait, it's a 18 to hit. How do you want to kill her? Oh! One HP left. One. Oh my god! I was so close. <laughs> like, it was a save. Imagine if, a I, had, if I hadn't been unconscious, I would have killed her. <laughs> exactly. One day that'll happen. One day Hawthorne will kill something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I'm also rolled so off. that. I, I also rolled for Oni just to make sure that Oni would hit. Um, okay. but okay, okay. yeah, he rolled like twenty something. <laughs> I want to just oh, fire the arrow and it mm -hmm. like pierces her through the through the chest. And then Onu fucking leaps up and like grabs, like bites hold of the, the shaft of the arrow and mm -hmm. just fucking like just rags it in oh, and out of her chest shit. and oh, fucking destroys it. Oh, that's vicious. That's Is that like a fish on a spear? the job. All right. With that, combat subsides. What do you I do? would like to cast Detect Magic. Just as like use a spell slot to take as uh, as you kind of see her her body collapse, the green ball of energy starts to float towards her. Oh! And as it touches, uh -oh. as it, as it touches her, you can see her her body, her skin, her body begins to dehydrate very quickly as Ew. it seems that the orb is consuming Ew. her remains. And right before. Um, like as as that happens, the orb grows, and then <laughs> gone. I don't like that. Excuse me. Neither do I. Still on the ground. Uh, this my point. my my moonbeam drops because I cast a tech magic. Mm -hmm. Um, anything coming off of the fucking altar? No, this is or just anything? a defaced altar that used to be an altar to arrows, but now has since been just defaced. Anything magical about the room? Um, not particularly, no. Maybe on her. Oh no, she's gone. Her she's body's gone. fucking gone. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well then. I use my spectral arms just to lift Brooks back to standing. <laughs> <laughs> right, we better quickly I'm... check these other rooms to make sure there's nothing in them. And I'll kind of. I'll run send. Out. I'll send Hawthorne to do it. And okay. I mean, I, 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 I'm gonna run out of the room anyways. Like I've. To make sure there's nothing else magical down here, and I need to check. I'm just gonna whoop, take uh, the, uh, the other room, the one room that you haven't gone into yeah. yet. Yeah. Uh, there's just more elaborate-looking uh, uh, coffins there to the, that yeah. belong to the more wealthy that could afford like more fancy. Nothing magical. Nothing. Nothing. Damn. Not long done. Gonna fucking raid a crypt. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, and I'll just run back and to everyone. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you not do a lot of running? No, I, I do. I just, oh, just cardio is I not mean... cardio's not my best. I'm more of a, you know, like a sprinter, not a not like a marathon mm. runner. Just oh, Jesus Christ. This crypt sure is big. Yeah, it, it, you know, I. I Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just... I will, uh, I I'm gonna kneel down and, like, wash the viscera out of Odu's fucking fur and give him pets, because he did a really good job. Nice. Yay! He gets rewarded. You're such a fucking helicopter parent, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Right. Brooks right. takes a healing potion out of his back, fucking doesn't say anything, just holds it out to Dagon. Glug. Oh, I thought we were gonna go glug, 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 glug. Oh. Not I'll just like nod in appreciation and pocket it. Okay. I'd like to look at the um the facing of it. Is it just like been painted on or is it like carved or uh painted. 
yeah. If I use mending, does that go over the paint that's been done? Uh, or no, mending is for like not... actual like damage, damage, not necessarily okay. like not paints like... and stuff. Okay. That's what I thought, but at this point, Jax is pressed digitating the brains off of Brooks's <laughs> trousers. <laughs> well, okay. Fun, funny you mentioned that. Press digitation would get rid of the paints. Would get rid of fun, fun little tidbit. Yeah, I'll, I'll. So. Jax, don't suppose you could clean up this um, horrible image off this altar, could you? And then you know, one for Fuck. gods. I don't know whether Jax would do that. Because he DM? is anti-religious. Yeah, but it's getting rid of one religion, iconography to another. Do you reckon Dutch? Do you reckon Jax would go along with I'd that? say that probably, because this is just basically like restoring some vandalized like furniture, right? So like I don't I don't, I don't feel Respect like for the dead, Jax, even if you're Jax not would have a problem you know? with this huh. in particular. Okay. If and Soko's if so, if so, me, so, so can can re we can we can retcon this and Soko be like, I didn't. Okay. okay. It's fine. I didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> That's how he sounds. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, Jax I press to digitates the altar. Okay. I will kind of turn to group and say, well, this is a very worrying thought indeed. That um, symbol that was carved is a symbol of Fechner. The who what now? A mm -hmm. very old... A old lich who wants godhood. Not all liches old. Yes, but this one's very powerful and very much wants to become part of the access the divine realm and make himself a god of all, basically. You could do that? With enough time and power. You can do anything, really, but it's... Why is... Is he a so, bad god? Who we killed that He's wasn't. not a god, he's a lit. He's a lit who wants god. He, he, my, he has the power of a demigod at this point. Uh, if writings are correct, <clears throat> you know, he's been, writings about him have been around for ages. He's almost like mythos at this point. He's very much always been a, a background player. So you think, who, well, well, who's this? There are fanatics for all powerful beings someone who maybe thinks they've talked to Vecna or someone could be just minor could just be you know someone who's got delusions of grandeur who's done a bit too much reading right you what know was green I, orb? I appreciate this but, dearly but I I don't like being here and I would rather be out of here quickly so yes we'll let's get out of this conversation that. at a tavern after we've got our reward it's and fine I will. Let's. Can Besides, I have a little touch of the, the body? He's dead now. The body's gone. Sethening castle. Well, the, just well, completely. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't Shot say she's away. Would I? Hmm. Lazarus, I trust you to be fair. I'm gonna wait outside. I don't like being here. Fair <laughs> it does smell I will. bad. Do you remember the knock? Uh, I will. Yeah, I'll say go up and. Do it. No. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. No. no it's two. Then three. Two. Then three. Oh, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, uh, twice, uh, yeah. then it's thrice. Us. Just open the fucking door. What? That's a perk trick answer. Milady. That's a normal way to say that. Don't yeah, remember where you were from. Twice oh, and thrice. Right. Oh, oh, man, right. twice and thrice. I run <laughs> straight back to him and leave. Rebarricade or I'll be good. Um, Everything's dead. We should be fine. Again. Well, though, yeah. everything's like... really dead now. Really dead. So like, extra dead. necromancy going on down there. Uh, oh, yeah. Dear God. Yes, there was undead down there. And an Echo It seems as though somebody was doing a ritual to Vecna. Down there. Vecna? Yes. Oh dear. It's not good. How do they even Any get idea? In there? I don't know. Do you have Can any idea? I insight check if he's actually like. Sure. Properly questioned. Can I do that as well? Yeah, sure. I have to go in five minutes. Boo boo. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen. Twelve. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he seems genuinely shocked. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, I suppose it is on to us then to go clean the place up and work on our security. Hmm. It seems as the uh, symbols of Vecna are gone. Yeah, we appreciate it. It seems at least one of them. Maybe they hmm. may have. Might be more. Had a way to teleport in? I don't know. I don't know it. But there was Attention. this green there was this green energy mm -hmm. that 
as we killed zombies manifested in the necromancer then manifested into a room and then that same green energy enveloped them and they disappeared as we seemingly destroyed them Interesting. i don't know I, um, far far above my field of knowledge yes same well for now i suppose um thank you iron order and Heyman, for a job well done Mm. Uh, and he hands each of you 25 gold pieces. Oh, he oh, oh, got that. Holy 25. money. 25. I'm, yes. I'm outside at this point. so I'll take, I will take, I will take Brooks's and I'll kind of just almost go like, I'll well, just kind of keep it in my hand. Like okay. I put mine just on the way out. Just keep um, it in my I'll uh, return to, you know, showing Siren around and all of that. Um, yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're no welcome. Do you guys need us again? You know where to find us? Well, well, well we are the noise, to honest, to be honest. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. know that we'll be there, and I'll, I will Brooks. go outside, and I'll give Brooks the tree. As you are outside. Oh. Dry heaving a little. Dry heaving <laughs> a little. Uh, and the rest of the party comes to meet you. You've noticed that, you know, the sun is about to set. You've spent a lot, lot of the time of the day just kind of shopping around, browsing, hanging out. And as it becomes dark enough, and at this point, you're all kind of gathered outside. Uh, at this point, you know, sun is about, uh, sun is setting. The moon is already like coming up. You look up because you notice this orange glow. And as you look up, you see writing in the sky. Again. Oh no! This time, whereas sky writes typically in the clouds, this is just flaming words floating in the sky, oh, very high oh, above. Oh no! We've pissed something off. Those who meddled in my affairs, I await you in Streatham. Let's end this. I fucking knew it, dude. I fucking knew and it. As you read it, you can hear a bellowing roar and the shape of some kind of flying creature crossing past the words, heading westward. That's supposed to be a dragon. Uh, Make a perception check. Is it an illusion? I don't win these. It's like a six. You're not sure. Oh, but I got a 23. That shape seems pretty dragon-like. But did it seem like an illusion or was it a real? There's no way it's a real dragon. You don't know. Well, you know is that you saw a shape that looked very dragon-like. A just... dragon-like shape. Yeah. Oh, God. And That's with that... Unnerving. No, fuck. We'll yep. end here and pick this up uh, next week. But the week after our Halloween. Oh, oh sure. Halloween! Halloween next week! Halloween Do we get any we'll, magic we'll, items, we'll DM? Hanger for you while we have a uh, you know, little, little How dare you? Week. Magic items for the any magic shot. items? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do we level up? No. Do we level up? And we we're not did going, a good thing. We're not thing. going back to like long rest or anything, right? Nope. We're still I mean, I'm not it's, gonna, it's, we're gonna pick it's up from like, this it's moment. Like the sun is setting. It is the other day. You're not gonna pick up from no. this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just check. But we probably will Dude. do the start next. Session. Dog yeah, Onu yeah, fucking killed it. Session. Yeah. I know, right? Um, Literally. Yeah, he for really did. Out. Everybody, thanks for watching. Lily, thanks everybody. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh yeah. We'll be here next week for a Halloween one shot, and then the week after we'll pick up where this left off. Some of us in costumes. Maybe. Thank Maybe. you so much, everybody, for hanging out. For the uh, uh, what, uh, what? Let me let me know in Discord or whatever. Like, what you as a, as the viewer thought of of the whole uh, Tailspire like board setup. Uh, mm. I'm curious, and that goes oh, for yeah. you guys as well. Uh, the players. As it gets most like visually, it's really nice. As this, mm -hmm. as the process gets a bit more streamlined, it'll be really good. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah same. That's what I think as well. Um, so yeah, especially sure we get to, to a point where we like and get better with it. We could control our stuff. That'd be lit. Um, yeah. Right. You're just waving. Thanks for watching, everybody. Laura has to go, so we're gonna fucking I'm go sorry. offline here. Bye! I'm see you next time. I'll see you tomorrow for Divinity. Bye! Yeah! Bye! Bye! <laughs>